I am not one for using of a brutish weapon such as that. Oh, it's so not for fighting. Just talk to it. All I was offering was, since you're the most skilled with it, you can use it to advance down to go see the ships, and maybe we could find any of the lost, maybe shipments of gold or any materials or objects that may have been uh, lost from yes. the ships as well. And also the the, uh, the corpses of slaves that are being transferred, mm-hmm. those as well. Those technically uh, count as evidence. I would believe that it's better if somebody would... Uh, sort of skills, magic, wheels the trident, because in the water, what can I do with swinging a sword around? Or a trident? The trident is easily used underwater, is it not? Yeah, but you got, I don't know, fireball. Fire <laughs> underwater? <laughs> underwater. I'm sure that'll be very useful for me. It's magic, I don't know. Look, this is the only place we'll be able to survive Delian's fire if we actually do this, so... Give it to Delian. Hmm, I feel like Wave would die in Delian's grasp somehow. Oh, it's just a kid. <laughs> I look at Barnan. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Delian, I believe, is already gifted enough. I don't believe that she needs further enhancements. Also, I furthermore wish to apologize. My actions yesterday were very on edge because that was the very first time I had seen a giant and I would like to say that one we should be more of a collective group of leaders and have us everyone has a say in it rather than just pointing at someone and blaming oh, no, them no. directly. Delian is a leader now. Uh, we need somebody to take the blame. I feel like blame is earned in that con- uh, in that choice. It's well, not so someone. It's... Someone needs to wield this trident because if we are going to go down and salvage ships, we need to be able to breathe. I can fix that. I can help us go down there. Oh, oh okay. Well, there's then. there are magic in these tomes. So we don't need the trident. Oh. Is it a one-handed trident or two? It's versatile. You can. Oh, okay. Do both. I'm I'm not going to complain about being able to breathe underwater and see in the dark. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. I take whelm. Booker, you take whelm. Um, take uh, wave, not whelm. Wave, sorry, wave, not whelm. I mean, sorry, wave. Whelm's in a um, right now. And as you see this happening, um, Delian walks in. Hmm. Yeah, somebody gave me a disadvantage to my roll, so I guess I'll roll disadvantage on something. <laughs> Snap. Do performance check. <laughs> Let's see how cool you walk in. Constitution saving throw. Let's go. Um, you grab a uh, wave booker, and you notice there's like, you know, etchings of waves and things on it, and this is one of a, this is a powerful artifact, right? in and of itself, and you touch it, and it says, oh, it's you again. Well, at least you have the courtesy to give me a little water when I need it. Well, I mean, if a man is thirsty, he deserves to have his thirst quenched. I dip him back into the pot of water, just just keep him there while you talk, I guess. All this looks like you're, like, waterlogging. Like... Uh, did I hear that right? I have... Anto doesn't like me anymore. Don't, don't say that. I I assume that he's just having conflicting feelings about the relationship you two have. No, he definitely doesn't like you anymore. I was the yeah. one who saved him when that giant crab poked that water bubble and almost incinerated you all. Um. The, the, the trend wave argues that he saved... Anto's life and yours as well, Delian. So he should at least have some gained of some respect. I don't. I don't like being the middleman of this. This feels weird. Just touch the trident uh, and argue. I don't care. That's fine. But uh, obviously, Anto wants to discard you. So we'll try to find a new owner for you then. Booker, please roll two d six. Oh. Or you have been blessed with temp HP. 
Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, I'll roll those in Hellspire then. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, eight. Eight temp HP. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, I. Antho should be grateful. If it wasn't for me, he would have drowned as we looked over the great sea cliff. We were looking for some big fish if he, he wanted a fish. I mean, yes, we couldn't find it right then and there, but we shouldn't give up so easily. There, there. I, I weirdly enough, I'm patting a trident. Just there, there. It's all... Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> kind of, you know. Well, it, it would, or something, right? Well, no, it would it would be actually hitting invisible <laughs> leather because of my gloves. There, there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there, there. Oh, it feels good. Yes, thank you. Back in the water. Uh, uh, apparently, this trident can make anyone act very strange. Now, from Anto to <laughs> now he's patting, a, patting, a, patting a trident. He just you're giving a weapon anxiety. <laughs> He's grown attached to Anto at this point now. You do realize, Booker, that the sentience that's put into these weapons are something akin to... They're not living things. They're just simply remnants of memories and things of that nature. Well, <clears throat> I'd argue that it is a living thing, considering that I, he I disagree. Learn. Well, then... <laughs> That's on you. Oh, um, I do have to. I do have to discuss uh, Rashad a bit. I don't know if you people have talked to him. Oh yes, I have um, interesting information as well. But you first. I've basically allowed Rashad to continue uh, his operations without a bothersome audit, but I'm going to place some agents within his organization to accumulate information on illegal activities, including enforceably slaving people of the kingdom. And once we have accumulated enough information, we will call him to an audience and he will be summarily executed once we have that evidence available to us. As a, as a message to the Lynx to not continue this practice. I see. But it's still legal, isn't it? I think it would have to be first made illegal, then you hit him with the facts, and then basically get it's him. It's illegal to enforceably to force people into slavery. So we'll see what the evidence brings out. Oh, we can go get piles of evidence at the bottom of the ocean. I will gladly explain. I'm not going to the bottom of the ocean. What's that all about? You need to tell me about that. Right. Fire doesn't work underwater. You're out of you're crazy if you think I'm going. <laughs> Do you only have fire? No radiance? That doesn't matter. I'm like what what do you what what's the point of going underwater? <laughs> go so <laughs> Rashad, I uh, look over the trend for a bit and pull up the book. Rashad has given me me and Barn uh Barn on general locations of where his ships went down. We could probably find manuscripts, catalogs, anything that they did have for information, as well as any shipments of individuals who are taken into slavery, as well as any of his goods. They can be seized and generally used against him to further the general weight against all of his crimes. Also, it gives us a general idea of where we could probably find this dragon. We also know of a survivor, Fivin Amikia, that I would be most interested in discussing with him today, if we could. Yes, he's uh, apparently located around the docks, so we should probably make haste with that. If I recall, was there some sort of dragon linked to this thing? Yes, it was a sea dragon, which I have never heard of personally. Um... According to my history, would I know that sea dragons breathe like steam or something? You have to make a knowledge roll of some kind. 
knowledge of <laughs> nature of some kind, probably. Yep. The knowledge of nature proficient. It wouldn't be like history, or it'd be nat it has to be nature. Um, because you're asking about a nature of a creature, right? Something like that, and how they live in their environment. Doesn't really have to do with okay. history. Are you proficient uh, in that? If not, you're all disadvantage. I don't think I have. Make a roll with disadvantage, so and then add your any... mind. Is there a nature? Okay. It also could be considered hunting. It's first the creature's DC. Rolled pretty well. Um, 17, oh, 13, sorry. Yes, 13 um, plus 1, 1, I think it is. It's in mind, right? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, you just don't know enough about um, dragons. It must be amphibious. Okay. If it's living na near the water or under the water. Well, fight against dragon under the water, over the water, in the hole. Either way, it seems very, very dangerous for no good reason. I mean, we have a good reason. So, y'all have shipments coming in. And also, they're shipping slaves. And we can't save slaves if the ships they're on are getting destroyed by a dragon. I mean, as long as we're able to stop the dragon and currently use what information as soon as possible that we have then and there to get Rashad into custody, then maybe th we can stop shipments that are trying to pull into... Stormbrook? It I almost mean, seems what you're doing is counterintuitive. But that's just my opinion. Oh, yes. I mean, we'll let the dragon continue to destroy and kill people on the ships to keep Rashad's business from succeeding as well. Either way, well, we don't, someone's going to die, someone's going to get in trouble, and if well, we... Being the intelligent archmage that you are, mm -hmm. do you know the percentages of the actual number of ships that get that, that attacked by this dragon? Is it one a week? Is it one a month? We don't even know, right? Uh, I assume Rashad would have gone over that information that we kind of glossed over, right, Dan? Would you have explained um, how many ships that would have been? It's enough to where there's a been, been a bounty put out. You know, thirty thousand um, gold bounty. Yeah, thirty thousand yeah. gold bounty. I Which is the cost yeah, of a galleon so. ship, basically. Um, so you're going to save Rashad's business. Uh, because in the end, it saves slaves. And in the end, he uses slaves to make money so that he can pay us anyway. So, uh, you know, it's not counterintuitive at all. It's just, you know, what the hell? <laughs> well, he'll pay us. We, well, we'll stop the dragon, save the people who are dying on those ships. Then you, I assume that you are also still doing, being a part of this, will help and bring him to justice. After we collect the reward, of course. After we collect the reward, of course. We, well, I mean, personally, if I was not limited by morality and ethics, we could just simply seize all his assets, stop the slave trade altogether, and you don't even need the reward because you'd be able to seize the assets and distribute it among ourselves. And would that, wouldn't that serve justice if we didn't follow the law, let's say? <clears throat> I mean, and that sounds lot, that seems a lot more safer. That seems a lot more safer than fighting this sea serpent. I mean, it's oh. not just attacking the lynx's ships; it's also attacking just general merchants and the lynx themselves. Considering Rashad is only one link amongst an entire chain, if we take Rashad down without. It, under the guise of maybe, say, Stormbrook's laws being enforced, then who's to say that the entirety of the links wouldn't come after directly us? Well, I have a feeling all the merchants pay some sort of protection money to the links anyway. Um, I mean, there's a very embedded syndicate. Um, yeah, listen, if you guys want to take on the Sea Serpent, that's fine. But I think it's extremely reckless, and it's very, very um, possible that some of us might perish. Well, Brilliant. as long as we have a healer. 
We are simply trying to do what's best for the people. Surely you can agree to that. Depends on which people. Yes. Vero is thinking to himself that this child is fucking insane. <laughs> Barnon, you have to understand, she only cares for her people. Dalian, that's <laughs> this true? Surely Avonia wishes to bless all people in her fire. Her destructive, destructive fire? A different kind of fire. I don't see what this has to do with our fight against the darkness, but as I said, it feels to me almost like a side quest. But as I said... You heard... Uh, what was his name? The, the man who I tried to kill with the, the powerful sword. The dragon. Urius, Urius okay. thank you. Yuri has said that in a way, I think. Yeah, the fake father. I'm. I'm sorry. His father. 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 What? Yeah, he claims. He claims he fathered hundreds of offspring, and I was one of them. And that explains a lot. We're, that explains a lot. We're learning about this now, because. Well, I'm telling you because it's it's completely uh, a falsehood. It's uh, you know he's uh, he's nuts basically. If you think I'm crazy, then he's nuts. Do you oh have... my god. That explains a t-shirt that I saw called Delhi and the Demigod in the church earlier. And the eyes, too, yes. <laughs> and the demeanor. This is really awkward because I did touch your father on the chest. What? It, I killed him before and after. It's fine. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Let me, anyways. I only brought it up because he's the fake father. I'm doing research right now to find out if there really was that many offspring. And so far, there's been no evidence whatsoever. Well, how goes your um, research? I'm not getting any books on this guy. He's a, mm. he's a, he's a mystery. There's a name for that. I mean, denial. for all we know, for all we know, no, it's not denial. Don't be silly. You're denying, you're denying you know, wave. I'm not denying. He's That's a there. different kind of denial, though. <laughs> That's it's denial but, of responsibility, Anto. Yes, right. But getting getting back to the original point is that he decides to tell me at the weirdest moment, if you really think about it, and then he left already. And for all we know, he could already be converted to the darkness. We just need well, to find as much information as we can. Maybe he told you that because. He was trying to seek out some closure for you in a way. Because if he goes all dark and ballistic, like how you know your friend before on the sewers went, apparently turning himself into a completely different person when consumed by darkness, who's to say your father may not also become something far worse? Uh, Booker, Booker, Booker. You're such an empathetic person. But no. How did this girl? How did this girl? Why? Why? Why did it have to be this girl? <laughs> I'm not the I'm not his daughter, and he's not my father, and uh, that's just that's that that's as simple as that. You do have the same eyes, though. Oh, yeah. What are you talking? What are you talking about? <laughs> Besides the talk of your father or false father, I'm sorry. Surely you could agree that if this monstrosity is. Killing at will and without reason or cause, you could agree that disposing of it would be of a boon to the world, yes? It, and it's it's a little it's a little disturbing that Rashad has given us this job rather than let's say the queen. Uh, but we can certainly investigate it. <clears throat> that is all I ask. And if anything, if your false father has did tell us that removal of evils in this world would bring back more light, it's not darkness is not a general person. It's bringing something like hope, I suppose, to the world. Actually, it is a general person as well. This is. Uh... <laughs> I understand. I mean, res restoring restoring Whelm to the dwarven. Lords would be one step in that direction. Yes, uh, maybe from... restoring wave to somebody. I don't know. Uh, somebody. We, maybe we could give it to the Merman King or something. As since Anto doesn't want it, so. I mean, I will look into what the what wave does now, um, but maybe also 
we can, when we're going down to the docks, see if the dragon is also affecting any of the people around here, like fishermen as well. Transportation that does not have to do with Rashad's business may be also suffering. Innocent people may also be caught up in this as well. There's many folds to a story that we have to figure out. And if I we can take I heard about a care... survivor, uh, Thivin Damakir. That is correct. Yes. So, so we're going why to go not talk bring to him you? here? Well, why we not bring just him seek here? him out. <laughs> Um, I can have somebody sent to bring him here. Do you really want to seek him out? Up to you. I feel it would be best to visit where he lives rather than forcefully bringing him here. Besides, a walk after not, breakfast is always good for the body. Not forcibly, but it keeps our operations a little bit discreet rather than in the open. But yeah, by all means. And we can meet with other fishers and doctors there that may have other information. There's no problem with going to go talking to locals. Sure. And we, maybe we can even catch the big fish that Anto's looking for or buy a new one. <laughs> Are we heading off to the docks? Yeah. Yeah. Is Wave coming with us? I'll take Wave yeah. with us, yeah. Why don't you let you... me hold on to that, Booker? Wave. Well, I was going to talk to him. Well, we walked. Uh, don't don't do that. There's no need to talk. <laughs> There's no need to talk to an inanimate object. <clears throat> I put Wave into my bag of holding. I'm going to deny you this one. Did you put him into the bag of holding? He's like, no, not again. Don't I worry. Shrug. You do realize I could telepathically talk to him instead of talking to him out loud, but anyway. Well, let me try something. I pull out Wave just a little bit and hold him in my hand, and I think, can you hear me? Can I talk to him set like that? You talk to you 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 talk to him through your mind, right? Yes. I try yes. to mm -hmm. Okay. That's how that's how uh sentient items at least how I do it, they talk to you. Okay. Oh, look at that. I'm speaking to him now. <laughs> and I say, are you having a good day today, Wave? So, and I'm just not saying anything. So why do you why do you want to keep all the artifacts? You're, you've been keeping well? You've been keeping Wave? I, mean, I interviewed Whelm to get information. We've kept, we have put Whelm into the vault until the dwarves get here. I'm going to talk to Wave as well and see what Wave and knows why? as well. What, what do you plan to get out of this conversation? It's living, breathing history. I am an archaeologist. I get satisfaction out of figuring out what happened long ago and exploring the research of what still exists out there. This is like finding someone from past generations and being able to know, learn what usually, they know. Usually artifacts choose their, <clears throat> choose their partner, or should we say their possessor, in this case, Wave has chosen Anto, and Anto has rejected him. So yes. I don't really know what to do with this situation. <clears throat> well, I think that's more of a Anto situation than not you. Well, I'm just, I was just going to hold on to it and maybe turn it over to somebody who can use it for the purpose of defeating the darkness and good, instead of having it collect dust and being a conversation partner Well, I was just going to ask it questions to see what it did know. Because uh, learning said, what it does learning what it does know may also lead to finding a person who it does belong to, like what we did for Well. Well, with a flourish, I bow to Booker and I go like, as you wish, Archmage. Hmm. I roll my eyes the hardest I ever have. And I assume that this conversation has been happening as me and Barnon are walking out the door. Just... I thought we were all going together. Are you just going oh. to the two of you? Well, we were the only oh, two who said anything. You can join us if you want. <laughs> well, we're just talking, right? We're not going under the water yet. Vero sure. and Anto? Vero and Anto should be going towards the kid, and then we should meet over there, right, Vira? Vira? Yes. Vira has a headache. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, uh, you Pyro. address the uh, marked children already. There's one left. We, I gotta, I gotta take care of. Excellent, excellent. I wouldn't want our names being tarnished by the actions of Anto. And then you have what the uh, the fifteen other adults that need to be taken care of as well. <laughs> they well, there are kept in our manner. That's nothing of concern there. If it requires a greater restoration to remove the marks, I think I can probably do that uh, depending on the situation. I don't really know. Um, uh, Viro, uh, uh, Ivona sends her love. Don't worry. Has the chandelier I'm been sure fixed yet? she does. Uh, Barnon rolls a d20, and if he rolls a 10 or higher, the chandelier has been fixed. As the giant open. smashed into it before. It breaks up and falls on top of the other. The... I see the workers here are quite efficient. It's been taken care of already. Well, I need to delete dice. Congrats, yeah. you got a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost. How do you roll uh, a chaos fire? You hit the space bar, and then you um, you should see the dice pop up. I only mm-hmm. see Hero Forge characters. I don't see a dice. Man, okay, when you, so how do you do it? Okay. So I think you hit spacebar. Yep. You see the Hero Forge? There's no little dice. Oh, oh. No, it's no dice next to it. And it says game, <laughs> waiting on GM for me. Waiting on GM? Oh, oh it's that's not why. here. You joined late. It's not here. here. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that, there, there it is. Okay. Yeah, there, there she blows. <laughs> You guys walk out of the door. So who's all going to the docks? We have Anto Booker. Is everybody going to the docks? Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I want to. I want to listen to the information I'm given them. I'm not here or whatever. As you walk out, the uh, giant is there with his with Waggles, a large looking mm-hmm. creature. Uh, I forgot about him. Tebrog <laughs> is like so. Oh, I see Waggles. Are you ready? To go to the deep. No! <laughs> we are not, oh. good sir. We have to do what is called investigation and discovery. We'll can get back to you, you once we finish. Can you wait until we're done? <laughs> okay, we're going to just... We're going to just... I will wait one more day. But That's... Wonderful. We will get the, back to you. <laughs> other Thanks. bounty men will be looking, little girl. And, and girl. certainly, <laughs> certainly, they will be looking. Mm. You see, as he like, he like sits back down. You see, like the static. Begin to like connect to the edge of the wall, right? As he takes a seat and he goes, Do you have any more meat for waggles? We can buy some when we go to the docks. Hmm. He, t- he like reaches into his pouch, pulls out a gold coin, and flips it to you. Is it sizely size to a giant, <laughs> or is it it's, like it's is small, Delian, it's a small ass coin? Uh, I was about to ask: Is Delian getting decked in the face by like a gold the size of a manhole cover? <laughs> I can't no. be decked. I'll be, I'll be I'll be able to cast a spell to stop it. <laughs> no, he. It's just you. Nice. I'm assuming Delian catches it, and you guys yeah. head off to the docks. <laughs> Yep. Um, and I sort of remarked. I sort of remarked to Booker and the others. Can he speak any slower? <laughs> Delian, you know it's quite remarkable. I've never met such a person who could get on the nerves of so many people and yet still stand. Oh, don't worry. I'll be the last girl standing, even among mm. us. <clears throat> among us. Shush. <laughs> it's eleven a.m. right now. And you guys go to the doc who wants to make the investigation roll to look for the drunk. I will, if um, if, if anyone would like to assist me. 
So you have inspection, right, Booker? Because Booker's trying to do the Monsters of Magic version of this, right? Yeah, I'll, yes. I'll assist. I'll assist. I have a adept inspection. rating on it, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's just 1d6, right? Uh, Booker, what's your rating uh, in it? it? What is it called again? Inspection. It's a inspection. base skill. Inspection. Goodness. The... I have... I think it's adept as well, yeah. So Booker rolls a 2d20 with advantage, right? Okay. Well, let me take a look here. Okay, never mind. Um, Booker rolls 2d20, then you add 1d6, okay. plus your mind. All right, so 2d20s and a d6. Because mm -hmm. you roll with advantage because Delian's helping right. you look for this drunken guy. Yep, and my mind is a 3, so all right, I'm just keeping that all in mind. So let's... Roll it up. Uh, Just release roll, it right roll there. Roll it down the it's stairs. Fine. Yep. Woo! Like a little dice tower. I was going to say, you need to start, like, when, when you get all these buildings and stuff, you need to build, like, little dice trays that you can just, areas <laughs> that you can have people roll on, but they're, like, okay. within the environment. Uh, so if you want to look back at the log, I hit the space bar, then I hit the little yeah. book on the side, so I can see that you rolled a 16 plus 2 plus your plus, mind, right? So you roll over three. a 20. You find yeah. him. What's this guy's name again? Fibbin Amakir. Fibbin, you guys meet Fibbin, and he is drunk in an alley somewhere. Who is it? Does anyone have any magic to remove this? He's got a bottle in his hand. I linked a picture of him in the chat as well. Um, I could cast a lesser resurrection or something like that. Please. You got oh, a coin yeah, but... for a bottle so I can get another ale. It's 11 a.m., by the way, guys. Yeah. Is anybody able to purge the poison from him? If only we had a paladin uh, who could do that. I'll cast a lesser oh. restoration on him and um, see if Get your hands away from me, well, girl. He slapped your hands away. Actually, lesser restoration is ranged. I don't think I have to touch him. Oh, yeah, I don't have to touch him. Never mind. Uh, yes, touch. I do have to touch him. Yeah. Can somebody hold him so that I can actually cast a spell? How about we just do a distraction and not hold the man down? Anto, it's... can you please hold him down, restrain him? Oh, we're here. I thought we were going for the kid. Yeah. yeah. Into and Vero veered off to go do something in the lobby. Oh, okay, okay. Us. But Barney, can you hold him then? Please. I can try. Excuse Excuse me, Booker, sir? Booker, 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 Booker Just... prefers touching inanimate objects rather than animate ones, so please do so. No. And children. Excuse me, sir. We are seeking information. If you could just allow her to assist you with your current state so you could be of help to us both. It would be appreciated. Get rid of my buzz. Hell. Can I roll persuasion? <laughs> uh, uh, no need. Actually, uh, you know, I could, we can give him a gold well, you, you're, Yeah, I mean, you're not doing anything for him, so he's like, fuck nah. Well, then, I suppose we'll have to go a little bit on the rougher side. Uh, excuse <laughs> me, sir. I'll attempt to I'll attempt to grapple him a bit so that Delia oh, can You're going to try to put your hands on him? Yeah. Right, roll roll a grapple check with him. I just roll the, uh, a D20 straight up. What about defy the guards of the city? Yay! We have absolutely nobody here who's capable of doing a proper grapple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, other than he, casting he, a spell. He, yeah. he kind of like shucks off of you. He's like, get your hands off me. I'm not trying too hard. Um, get the fuck yeah, off me. I, I, try, I try again. I'm like, Fivin, that's your name, right? Yeah, what's it to you, little girl? Uh, let me give you a gold piece so that you can buy more drinks in the future. But just let me allow you to touch you to allow you to, you know, clean your body a little bit so that. Let me see the gold me. first, little girl. All right, I show him the gold one gold piece. Give it over. No, no, no. Touch me first. <laughs> okay, you're trying make, to get in prison make now. a persuasion mm -hmm. roll, uh, Delian, right? You're a deaf uh, in it? Actually, are you? It's not persuasion, right? It's influence, isn't it? It's influence. <clears throat> that's correct. Mm -hmm. Make a I'm persuasion check. Get... I, I have a major, 
You have major in it? Sorry, I have, so you roll, no, you roll have, a d20. Sorry, I have a, I have a dead. Never mind. I have so a roll d20 plus 1d6 okay. plus your soul mod. D I have to do this at disadvantage, right? Because of that... Uh, yes, because someone gave you a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that is yeah. true. Hilarious. You had disadvantage from Shy Girl. Oh, oh, so oh. I, got a, I got a total of 12. If I add the soul. <clears throat> okay, so how I do these rolls in... I don't... It puts less onus on the DM. We do an opposing roll with him, right? He rolls a natural one. He's like, all right. I'll let you do it. Come okay. here. So he, walks, he like hand. staggers towards you. He's like, what? <laughs> I, just need your, I just need your hand. Don't touch it. Don't touch anything else. <laughs> I, I grab he, he hand grabs your, like, you grab your hand. It's like it's like a rough hand, like a sailor's hand. Callous, right? And he's got like hairy knuckles. And I chant the words for lesser restoration and yeah. his drunkenness. Ugh. Uh, now, where's that gold at? I, I slipped in the gold, as promised. Yeah. All right, you got rid of my buzz. It better be for a damn good reason. But thank you kindly. You can always get your buzz back. I mean, everybody else does. You just to get gold. <laughs> Words of wisdom, right, priest? He looks at you. Certainly. I'll be happy to share a drink with you sometime in the future. I don't see the symbol of Yagi on you. Do you drink for your huh? do you drink for your age? I drink anything. Because ah. nothing really affects me. <clears throat> oh, okay. You like just kind of weirded out by your statement. Excuse me, sir. We are interested in your <clears throat> recent Minus two spirit. Uh, failed journey. That we believe you've encountered a dragon or serpent of some kind. Is this to be true? Oh, God. Are you part of the God? Of course. Sir, do we look like we are part of the God? I don't know. Things are acting weird around here. I can assure you we are most certainly not a part of the God. We are simply independent investigators of this matter. I, I had told the god all I knew. Would you be kind but to relate to the, us? We're not the guard, so we don't know any of that information. Why the fuck do you want to know? We look to handle the situation ourselves. Yes. <laughs> you this little girl? I, sh I assure you, this little girl is far more capable than you would be uh, hard-pressed to find otherwise. Is that a cello I see? I, of course. I am a performer of sorts. All right, I'll tell you. We're sailing at night. North. Cargo from the Lynx. Yeah. And all hands are on deck. Captain called us up. Ship was on fire. A giant tail hit the ship. I blacked out. But the damnest thing is, I woke up with some of the other crewmates on shore, not too far from here. Don't make a damn lick of sense if you ask me. I should be down with Davy Jones. All of your crew, or just most of them? Well, it was Pete, Arnold, Samson, Pete Jr. Her <laughs> gaps. <laughs> yeah, I, only a few of us made it back, unfortunately. I, but you know, God rest them souls. Of they, they, we don't know what happened to the rest of them. And what of the cargo you carried? And links are kind of secretive about all that shit, you know. I see. I see. Do you travel for other companies? Well, we were traveling from Husad. Right. Now, I assume you are a ship, right? Am I correct in that assumption? Hell no, I'm a sailor. Same things. Anyway. I don't build the ship. You... Look at you these hands. frequent the seas frequently, right? <laughs> yeah. What I can. You frequent the seas frequently. <laughs> 
so you with them when I frequently can, of course. Yeah, free at, at times, you know, frequently. So you are, uh, you've traveled with other companies that not just for Rashad and the Lynx. After the Oaks left, you know, we were always working for the Lynx because, you know, they work with, you know, the darkness. I'm see, excuse me, what? Well, the Lynx, they work with the darkness. The darkness? That's, of course, that's before yeah, the oh, I didn't storm. See that coming. Before the Stormbrook was liberated, they worked with Igat. He was the warlord here. And, you know, man has to make a living. I see. Mm. And, you know, things change. I mean, <laughs> one king here, another queen there. It is what it fucking is, you know? What about discussions with other sailors? Have they had problems with the serpent that have not been sailing with the Iron Lynx? Or is all business here with Iron Lynx? Uh Pay is tripled. So dangerous now to travel back from Hosad to here. The trade route is have any mildly dangerous, I'd say. Do you have any evidence that the Lynx have worked with the darkness? Why do you think I fucking drink all the time? Hearing those screams. So you'll, so you'll be hard to go to sleep. Then. What? So you're just. You're just a witness. You don't have any actual evidence of paper or anything like that, right? <clears throat> Fuck no, I can't even read. A testimony That's is still fine. evidence, Delian. Still of course evidence. it is. No, I'm just I'm just I'm just remarking. So great. I don't need to fucking serve. read. Look at this. I can tie a bow knot with my fucking one hand if I need to. Uh, too bad there's no way to record anything, but we'll figure something out. Anyway, just record. What does that mean? <laughs> you are some strange people. Yeah, you ain't no city god. <laughs> Is that all your questions? That's, this guy's not particularly useful. Yeah, if that's it, I'm going to go get drunk. I. Did you. You didn't happen to mention anything about any other business in the docks here. Is it all Iron Links, or is there other businesses that operate? Well, people need shit. We load that shit on boats. And we take those boats to other fucking places. What the I see. fuck do you think I do? <laughs> Perhaps we should ask around some other people. Well, yes. give me a fucking more code for my time, at least. So I'm gonna go wallow in the bottle at least. I believe the gold you He holds out his hand. I, I pull out a uh, I pull out a <laughs> do I have anything? Hold on. I, looking at my inventory. Yeah, uh, I'll pull out a silver coin, but I'm going to just give it yeah, to him. That's there. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He holds his hand over to Barnum. You have been fairly compensated already, <laughs> friend. He holds his hand desperately out, Ladellian. Hmm? and ignores him. Well, fuck <laughs> you too. He leaves. What? Why is he holding his hand out? I'm not really sure why is he holding his hand out. What do you fucking think? Ah, yeah. He get like just gets up and leaves. I'm gonna go to Anto and Viro. Um, you guys come up to the final house where Anto, you took the last kid from. Anto, what's the kid's name? Ah, okay. <laughs> names, names. Uh. Antonius? Rupert. Let's go with Rupert. that. Rupert. Rupert the kiddo. He come, you come out, Byro, just like you did before, right? You try to cleanse his symbol off with your thumb. Yep. You, cast this, you cast it. You rub your hands together. Fire and sparks begin to illuminate around your hands. It burns, and you take your thumb across the symbol of the face, and it burns away Anto's name and also the name of Stormbrook. Of where he's kept at. Thank you, mister. All right. Guess that's is the that, last one. Are you sure that are you sure that is all the kids you bought? One, two, three, four. Yes. That's all the kids. All that's left is the other ones in the temple. 
Okay. Don't worry, you just got to do it, what, 15 more times and we're good? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't can handle themselves. You're not weak. You can do it. Viro, um, you know, um, why doesn't Viro make an insight roll of some kind? Oh, what? This eight. It's too low for now. Using powerful magic to undo the links might be an easier way. I mean, how do the links do it? Fucking brand them. <laughs> okay. Where do you? Where does Anton Viro go? We we'll go back. Uh, all we needed to do was the, the kids. We're not you doing anything else, house. right? You go to the back to the house of Votun. I thought we were gonna meet at the try port. To gonna meet him at the, the port. Yeah. You guys are done talking with the guys, right? And then you meet uh, Viro and Anto. Join you guys at the docks as you're walking around, trying to ask like just regular sailors on the, sh the sh ship. Um, Booker, if you want to, you can make another investigation. We'll try to gather more information if you wish. Right. Hey, can uh, I buy a big fish? <laughs> yeah. How big of a fish you want to buy? I want to buy a big sturgeon. All righty. Hold on for one second. Inspection, that's two. So D20 plus... D6. No, that's not D6. Is that D6? I think that was D6. You come up to a, a, a fishing boat named the Winchester, and you speak to um, a guy named Edmund. He says, Oh, Cardinal, what are you doing here? You're muted. You, you were a little I'm more louder before. I'm just here to purchase a fish. You have a big sturgeon, possibly? I loved your sermon the other day. Thank you. I love the lesson you told. What was that again? I just... What was that second part? What did it mean? Oh, I'm sure it's all about justice being served. <clears throat> and yes, wasn't it talking about how the wicked need to be burned in the fires of the abyss? Yes, that's what it was. <laughs> oh, yes. It's so great, you know, not having the orcs around anymore. Now, what was that you said, uh, Cardinal? I'm sorry to keep your time. Did, did you say you wanted a fish? Yes. Can you sell me a live sturgeon? A, a live something, sturgeon? Something Hell no! We, we, we have to catch him. And, you know, he, he, like, points to a fish rack behind me. He's like, then we got to fry him up, you know? So they stay, Just uh, give me a big put him in the cellar. Okay. And he like it gets you a fish. He's like, Carter, this one's on me. May it serve as a sacrifice and a donation to the Church of Avonia. Thank you. He Extreme hands you a big fish. fish. It's so big, mm -hmm. Delian, that's like, you know, for your arms and stuff, it's kind of like overwhelming. But with the uh, parap the wisdom, you know, parap of health around you, you know, you kinda of lift it up with ease. I'll stick it up I'll stick it in the Heward's haversack for now. Don't uh, stick don't stick it up anywhere, Connor. <laughs> you put it in the backpack, stink. and you stick it in the thing. It's like the sound of like it gets sucked into the portal, right? Yeah. Um, Booker, what do you want to say? What do I want to say to the fisher, the guy who's selling yeah, fish? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going. I thought me and Bar Barnon were going around at, like looking for people. This is a guy. Look, at that's you know, he's a fisherman. All right. Um, excuse me, sir. You mm, wouldn't. Yes. You're a, a local fisherman. I can see that very well. Uh, have you been dealing with any sort of, or you or any others within the docks, been dealing with apparently a sea dragon of some kind? Oh yeah, we've heard a lot about that. It's been um, rumors about that dra some type of dragon, a sea serpent out there, sinking the ships of the links. No, no, no shipping. Links. 
no no fishing vessels of any kind or transportation? Fortunately, yes. I have never seen it before. Hmm. But I have to assume it's true. I mean, the fishermen are all saying, uh, oh, okay, me and my ilk. What of yeah. vessels which travel between continents that are not within the links? Um, I don't know. I don't... Uh, I just got back at sea. Have have these rumors said anything about what the dragon looks like? Anyone boasting about what they've seen? Roll an investigation roll, Booker. Right, D twenty plus D six plus your mind, uh, your mind mod. Uh, down the stairs it goes. Woo! Sixteen plus three, so yeah. that's nineteen. I think it's hard to tell. They say it tries to attack at night from what they were saying. Hmm. At least that's a rumors, but it can't all be true, right? Sometimes. Really. Sometimes people just say things to make themselves seem a lot better than they actually are. It's able to sink one of the galleons. And of the lynx, no doubt. The lynx, they hire, must hire many guards to watch over their cargo from place to place and port to port. I'm actually shocked that that must have pissed something off bad. Must have. And could maybe the god of Lunir himself. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. I will give him two silver for his time. And well, Would you like a bass, sir? Oh, uh... <laughs> uh how what, how good does the fish look? It looks very fresh. It looks good. Like fresh catch of the day type stuff, right? Like the fishermen go out in the morning, they come back in, you know, around the afternoon, and they have like the fresh they have the fresh stuff. It's not put on ice or anything like that. Mm. Um, but it's out and it's fresh. Uh, sure. Sure. Well Why take not? your choice. He has like a, like on his little stand, you know, that's like it's a slanted stand. And there's like fish just put all up. Uh, I'll take. I, uh, I'll just take a normal like, I don't know, salmon, a cod, or something. Ah, what right there? Huh? Take right. the fish for one. That's good. Right. Another happy customer. Feel free to come back, by, my lord. Thank you very much for your time. Mm, thank you. Wrap it in paper and just. Well, this is interesting. I'll just walk back to the crew. <laughs> I see you come back with a fish. I was like, are you hungry? Um, perhaps we can have the cooks at back at the, uh, the house prepare something. Anyways, we have a little bit more information. Good and bad. So, like uh, what? Apparently, uh, the Lynx were working with the darkness, which I think probably most likely going to be very not shocking. And secondly, this dragon has been, is not of the sea itself. Sea dragon, it's not a sea serpent. It's a fire breathing thing, but it's also apparently only targeting the lynx ships. No fishing vessels have been harmed. So only the lynx. Only the lynx, apparently. And it apparently, uh, they also attack at night, and we do have the general area of where they're mostly being struck down. So we could probably not talk to it. Talk to it, yes, considering it's smart enough to uh, target the lynx ships, not only that way, but identify which ones are the lynx ships. Because you only get lucky so many times, I would believe. Uh, it doesn't sound like the one dragon I thought it was, so. You know a dragon? Uh, well, yes. I already right. told you. It's uh, the sister of Iris. And in this case, it's the aunt of Delia, I think. Oh. The f- sister well, of Iris be- is part of the darkness, so you don't want to fight the sister of Iris. <clears throat> yes, but why would the darkness also be targeting the darkness? Yeah, so I'm guessing <sighs> it's not the same one, so it's- 
This is some. I don't know. Maybe you have wrong information because obviously you people are collecting information from drunks and God knows what else, and you inanimate know. objects. Oh, uh, they were. Edmondson was of no drunk. He was a hardworking gentleman of the docks. Yeah, he was about as useful as, I don't know, guessing. Edmondson gave us quite valuable information. Are you speaking of Thiven? After I would agree, he was of a bit of a dead end. Yeah, I think the only survivor was a bit of a dead end. <clears throat> we have general area information. We know what time that the targets were attacked. And considering that it was sparing some of the passengers on the ship, maybe there's a good chance that actually some of the slaves are alive and being hidden by the dragon. It's at least An some hopeful thing. Thought. Yes. Very yes. optimistic. Sense Is there the such state. a thing of a dragon that can save people? Uh, saving for dinner, maybe. Yeah. Well. So what are we going to do then? We're going to go with the giant or are we going to go by, them, by ourselves and try to talk with the dragon? Well, I mean... If we bring the giant with us, he's going to attack immediately. That is true as well. Is that true? The giant would be under Rashad's payroll in that case if he came looking for us and knew of the job himself. Well, we could always send the giant on ahead and uh, see what happens. I would be concerned of him actually having success at this point what do you in time. Mean? If he were to gather a group of skilled hunters to bring out the dragon and fight it, I would be concerned if he were to have actual success in bringing it down. Well, I don't think... I think we're his option, because if he had found a bunch of partners... Part, sorry, a bunch of partners, he wouldn't be waiting one more day. <laughs> Are you making fun of the giant? I'm I'm so glad you're finally catching on, Anto. Why would I do that, Anto? I don't know. <laughs> because I'm a teenage kid? Yeah, sure. We'll send yeah. him on his way and take well, this matter into our own hands. If the giant does end up trying gathering their own hunting party and killing said dragon, then we lose a possible person we can negotiate with to keep the... I, I doubt he's found anybody. Nobody's crazy yeah. enough to hunt the sea serpent. Well, only we are, only, only, only yeah. we are apparently. So. Crazy, crazy idea, then. Why don't we just go to the dragon right now? He's yeah. waiting one more day, so we get there first in one more day. I don't see what would be wrong with that. Considering it also attacks at night. How do we intend to get in touch with this dragon that's only been seen in attacking ships and not does, have it attack us? Does the Lynx have a, like an insignia? Um, I pull out I pull out the big fish and like Anto, you could use this as bait. If it's a dragon that is sentient and able to understand us, I could just if we see it, I could just message well, him, talk to well, him. Well, the thing is, if it's attacking only the lynx, then the only way to bait it out is with a boat that just screams lynx. We could wait for the next shipment, but that might be our shipment. So, yes. That's why I'm asking if that lynx can the insignia, we can just take a boat, go ourselves, and just like display the insignia oh. on the sail or something. That way he knows it's a uh, lynx, quote unquote. And then when he comes, and we said, "No, we're not." Okay. Do you have or... a galleon? We could ask for shot. I mean, we can just take one. Wait, wait a minute. So the current plan is you're going to go try to talk to this thing? Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, if if you don't like our idea, Cardinal, you can go back to your little temple and sit in there until you're a little bit more mature. You but you're saying a... you don't need. You're saying you don't need me, right? I mean, you, right? Don't okay. fight. you don't want I'm sure we could find someone. Right? Okay. No, no, no. Let's not get emotional about this. We are simply going to 
What are you gonna? What are you gonna? We have nothing to negotiate with. What are you gonna? What are you gonna offer it? To if it's targeting ships? the Iron Minx, and the Iron mm -hmm. Minx are explicitly working with the darkness, this could perhaps be an ally. We have a common goal. For yes. sure. You mean the enemy of my enemy is my friend? That kind of thing. Yes. It may not and even yeah. be an enemy of the enemy. It may simply be a friend. It yeah. might be your family. We don't know. Think about it, Delian. Uh, if this is a fire-breathing dragon, why not turn them into a fire-breathing ally of yours and just decimate his shop? I don't think water water serpents breathe fire, but that's just my guess. That's <clears throat> the information we were given. It was not a water sea dragon. It was a flying creature. A fire-breathing flying creature. A dragon. All right. Uh, if you feel this is the best course of action, why not? Fantastic! Hey, hey, you can always teleport in a moment's notice, so... Vera, are you on uh, board as well? Vera has no headache. <laughs> <laughs> is Vero's player okay? You have a headache tonight? Oh, no, I'm fine. Vero mm. has a headache. Okay. <laughs> just... Right. I mean, hey. I just uh, give a thumbs up. Party wants to go into the ocean, as Booker kind of knows where the ships were out. Um, sunk. How do we want to do it? Do we just want to jump into the water and go there, or do we want to? Guess we how do we want to do it, Booker? I guess we could uh, probably rent a ship. Yes. Yeah, Let's so take an Iron Link ship. Do we really? Okay, we was going to talk about this. Do we want to take a ship that has an insignia? And what if the dragon does not believe us when we say we're not Iron Links? I think it would be quite odd for an Iron Link ship to be capable of having a moment to discuss with a dragon rather than simply attack it outright. It would give us a I mean, moment, I'm sure. I mean, I could, I could cause an illusion to make it look like we are of the Iron Links. It gets closer, I dissipate it. I could talk to dragons, so... What? Oh. <laughs> I am a fair share of experience with draconic creatures, so this is the first time I'm hearing this. But okay. Yeah, first time. I mean, I mean, I can talk to demons, but you know, you don't see me bragging. But we're not gonna go against demons. We're not gonna talk to demons, so we're gonna talk to uh -huh. dragons. So, and, gotta put and all so the items wait. on the table. I, I speak dragon. infernal to Vero. Oh, where did you learn to speak such the tongue? Hell taught me. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> uh, Anto, Anto has a lot of hidden talents. Apparently he can speak to dragons, and uh, who knows what else he can speak to. Not like sure tridents, if, uh, maybe? I'm not sure if that's a talent, more of a survival skill, but yes. <laughs> I'm just going to start speaking in abyssal. Can either of you understand this? What the fuck is he saying? Hi guys. Voice. Yeah. Oh, All right. I, I, I'm fine with renting a ship. So you're gonna <laughs> rent a ship? Is that what he said? Yeah. Why not? And are you able to illusionary the whole ship into looking like an Iron Lynx? A little bit. You just of... need a symbol, right? I mean, I could make a flag, definitely. Will that be enough? Perhaps. I got a, a set of tools that we can use to paint an insignia if we need to. I mean, that could also work. I also, I do have my ability to put ink on things so I could draw on the side of the ship. <laughs> That's a stupid idea, yeah. but it's there. It's also permanent, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so maybe not that one. Kind of like renting a car and then just fucking doing whatever you want with it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> right, wash me on the back. <laughs> so it sounds like the group wants to rent a ship. Um, will there be crew on the ship, or do you guys want to crew it yourself? Uh, we probably need crew to handle like yeah. the sails yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I don't know how to to do that. So how hard could it be? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it? You want to do it? <laughs> Barton, you, you try and prepare those sails and tell me that your hands don't snap off like twigs. 
<laughs> I, I am pretty arrogant, so I would think it is not that hard. But <laughs> oh, guys, it's not that hard. Where are we going? I have a question. So we're going in the evening. Do we have time? Would I have time to recover spirit points that I used? Or no, it resets after a long rest. But I think you can use rights to regain your spirit if you wish, Dalian. Yeah, I I, there should I'm be just curious there, right? what I what I have to do. So uh, you just use a right, I think. I you have to look I at that ability. To. I forgot which. I forgot what it was. There's a yeah, way you can I know use it, it right? I have to use cool. a right. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys all get on the boat. Um, I'm gonna have uh, Barnan roll a d12. To rent the ship probably cost five gold pieces a day. Um, it'll probably take a thirty gold piece deposit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that nine. <laughs> yeah, it's accrued by nine sailors. Um, you have okay. to pay the sailors. Um, so rent the ship is five. Let me but we'll pull this out for a second. Yeah. Renting the ship is five gold pieces a day, which you guys need to pay a minimum of a week, which is 10 days, so 30 gold to rent the ship. Um, any Six gold time? each. Vera will cover the cost for this. Oh. Well, oh, gentlemen. <laughs> the sailors have been told that you're going to try to disguise the ship to look like an Iron Link ship to do this. So the sailors are going to ask for triple wages. Um, I'm going to say it's dangerous. So I'd say three gold pieces a day. Again, times ten. So I'm going to do this. It costs them 270 gold to crew the ship. 270 plus the 30 for the ship in general. So 300 total? I can pay... Yes, a, exactly. Uh, 300 gold pieces in total. Does that include week. insurance? <laughs> it does not, because you're not a part of the trading guild. I'll, I'll toss in a hundred to cover that cost of the extra. Interesting question, though. Um, we'll say the insurance for what you guys are trying to do, it's probably going to cost another 200 gold for insurance. But the insurance is kind of like they hold as a deposit, and then they'll give you... Um, they'll just take 20 gold or 10% once, you know, you do it. But if the ship goes missing, you know, they'll take the 200 gold. I thought the ship okay. already had insurance, but I guess not. It does not. Because mm. it's kind of like car insurance, like what accident is okay, saying. So slash it would barn. be 500 total. I'll and you said you were going to Yes, 500. 500 I'll, total, yep. I'll give 200, actually, to cover the insurance. So I'll pay 300 and you do the 200. Yeah. Booker, you have to understand that is also it's just considered a deposit. Once you return the ship, you will get um, 180 back. Okay. So that's something you want to write in your notes. Yeah, don't worry. I got that written down. Since the right is spiritual rejuvenation, and it uses two yeah. rights yep. to add five, oh, sorry, five spirit, I'll cast an aid spell at third level to everybody so that we have an extra 10 hit points. And then I'll use the rejuvenation to get the uh, points back. So, awesome. Okay. How do you say so a prayer has, to Ivonia? Uh, I have a. I have the, uh, where's the prayer? I actually have it written down somewhere. <laughs> cool. Hold on a second. Your devoted servant, Delian, calls upon her divine radiance to deliver her servant the powers necessary for the party to succeed. <clears throat> you feel a warmth come over you as your spirit is rejuvenated. Um. We go on the boat, guys. The, the ship is crewed. Hey! What's time on a boat, lad? Looks over at Booker. <laughs> Off the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fan of boats. The rocking of the ship goes back and forth and sloshes. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys head south into the Felvalone Sea. I'm going to do it like this. Um, to get to hey, where... Hey, Booker, do you want some fish? I, I throw up on Delian when she... When, I turn <laughs> over, when, I, when she comes up to me and asks something, I turn, I see the fish. <laughs> uh, Delian, you get puke myself. all over your beautiful robes. Press the yeah, I, I clean myself. <laughs> oh, eggs were green. To travel more. I travel by teleportation, not by boat. There's a uh, reason. You need to travel with the people, friend. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hang off the side of the ship. I'm still holding wave to just out on the ocean, open ocean. You got me. As you hold wave out, it says, Oh, the fresh sea air. Oh, I'm sorry. You haven't quite got your sea legs in, have you? No. My, my nose is stuffed up, and now I can't smell it. Uh. Oh, what's so sad? Oh. Huh. I wish there was something I could do about it. Yeah. Uh, it's something fine. usually... Try to hold the tip of me near your nose. See if that helps. Yeah, I'm gonna... What was the, it was the liquid from the... Ah. I can't stand to hear Booker in such a poor state. I Let me to help with the situation, and I'll cast silence on. <laughs> 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 right around Booker, it's quiet. And then Booker, all he can hear is wave. Ooh, something just happened. I can't hear anything. That is much better. I, I, I just, I slowly, like, well, if this is going to be awkward or painful, and all right, thanks for the silence, and I'm just going to slowly <laughs> raise it up to my nose. I don't know what this is going to do, but I'm here for it. You can't hear anything. You can't even hear the waves or anything like that of the ship. Yeah. You can't even hear the sound of your own breath or heartbeat, but you can still smell and see things. And as you bring the bring wave closer to your nose, you smell like the sea salt of it, right? It mm -hmm. smell like it's like a smelling salt. Does it help you, Booker? Oh, does it? You I don't me. know. Smelling salts wake you up. They don't clear your nostrils, do they? I'm just like. <coughs> <laughs> Too much salt. Too much salt. I'm just gonna sit back on the the wood of the ship or I don't know, just on the deck. I cast spare the dying on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I have any spells? I was trying to go to the spells of Monsters and Magic, but for some reason I can't connect to it. Rip. Um, yeah. Let's go to uh, Viro. Um, what is Viro thinking about? Uh, this is also his uh, first time on the sea, and he is also sick, but he's not showing it. <laughs> if you go up to him, he's like, he has this look in his eyes, like, "Oh God, I, why did I, why did I rent this? Why am I doing this?" But Viro would just be generally taken to the sights because he's he's rarely ever left Stormbrook, unless it's to take care of like threats outside the city. Now that Stormbrook has been liberated and the Cardinal has been put in place, the Temple of Ivonia established, where should the forces of good go, Byra? Well, apparently into the sea. Forces of good should not go to the Temple of Ivonia because a demon is running it. <laughs> That's sore talking. <laughs> Anto, what are you thinking? Oh, uh, well, we got on the bow that night. This is the first time Anthos on the boat, but strangely enough, it feels like the second time. Because the first time was, it feels like a dream. It was a dream, but was it? I'm, I don't feel sick, but I got bad memories of being on the boat. <laughs> sure. It's kind of strange also being on the boat when you were walking on the floor of the ocean with Wave. You see That's it true. in... Booker's hand, and it seems like Wave has found a new companion, perhaps. Are you jealous? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Barn, what are you thinking about? Oh, uh, I'm very optim I'm very uh, optimistic. Uh, if I already travel quite a bit, so this is nothing for me being out in the sea. Um, but I'm usually entertaining the crew for getting a free ride. So this is the first time where I'm just able to just sit on the boat and chillax. And I'm feeling really good about us having some serious leads on defeating some agents of darkness and finding that the Iron Links are explicitly working with them. And that this dragon might be a really good lead for eliminating a good chunk of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about you, Dalian? Um, I extract some eggs from the sturgeon that I bought because there's that caviar, basically. 
And make the, a yeah, uh, sir, make a skin else. roll. A what roll? Uh, well, a skin how's roll. That made? It's a gathering. Use your body. Are you trained in skinning? Uh, actually, I'm not extract skinning, the eggs. So. Uh, you roll with disadvantage, and then add your body. We're rolling for disadvantage for a while now. Add your body. I mean, where we got to go through? <laughs> and I'm going to use uh, Fallen oh, Gong. Two natural twenties. Two twenties. Woo! 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 I wanted four hundred. Let's fucking go. I think the most I, I think, shit ever. You know, I think that's per the perfect most, caviar. That's the most happy I've heard Dillian beat. There's got to be like at least two pounds of caviar in there or something, right, Dillian? This is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we actually see your smile for the first time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is the happiest I've seen. It's Holy shit. <laughs> that, this reminds me of Gordon Ramsay when he visited the caviar shop and he goes and dips in the eggs, right? And he just looks up and he has a shit eating grin. <laughs> Deli, and you see her scooping yes. out just like tons of these little fish eggs and just stuffing her mouth, I'm assuming. And it's like a oh, little no, no, delicacy, gonna, right? I'm going to preserve it. I'm going to preserve it for later. I'm not going to eat it. Nice. Uh, it's preserved. I'm, just, I'm, think, I'm thinking about converting the uh, the razor, black razor, back to light razor, pretty much. That And also returning the... Basically, I'm trying to... I'm basically turning in my head how to you know dispose of the artifacts so that you know it works against the darkness. How can we? How could you turn Black Razor into Light Razor when a part of the shard of it is stuck in Yuris's heart? I thought we took it out. No. Remember, you slayed him and he reformed around it. His heart still beats with the shard. Didn't the piece like become his heart? That's right, okay. Anto. So he is the form. piece now. It reformed around him. He regenerated back from nothing. Yeah, something about the sword. Him. Something about the sword being part of creation and destruction almost. Delian make a history roll. Okay. That's kind of strange. to think about this. It makes you wonder if you take that piece for yourself and to eat it. Do you become Urius? Do you become sword? <laughs> uh, total of a t not Total of 20, 14 plus 6. Plus your mind, <clears throat> right? Because you were uh, trying to remember one, something. So yeah, 21. It's one, so 21. <clears throat> you remember back to in the history of the tomes before they were burned when you were a young child. You were able to read at a very young age, being the prodigy. I started reading when you were about like three or four, maybe even sooner. And um, you know about. The two titans that came together they're called the primordial titans one was called creation the other destruction the gods forged the sword so maybe it's all tied together somehow okay uh, but anyway i'm just ruminating over how to dispose of well and also wave and also you know all these things that we've collected yeah, in about we a week, the the, apparently the dwarven, the about, about in a week, the Dwarven Slayer is supposed to arrive and reclaim the, the Dwarven weapon. But the Dwarves have lost their homeland of Kam Ladur. It was overrun by the darkness. Apparently, there are monsters and horrors that live there. The Dwarves have never been able to return. Sounds good. Um, Booker, we arrive, like, the sailors are doing a pretty good job. They get there by, to the first spot by the evening. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it's about 5 o'clock. The sun is going down. And this is the first spot, spot on the map that you saw, that you memorized. Mm -hmm. And they align the sextant, you know, and they use some of the navigational tools that they have, the compasses. I, I give them the map that I made. So it yeah. helps them out. And they say, we're here at the first spot. Right. Is everyone want ready to do a little bit of deep sea diving? I'm standing on the railing already. Okay, uh, I have a spell. Oh, you're an eager, you're an eager beaver, Fiora. Yes, I'm a very eager beaver. Thank you, Dallas. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to find it through the list of spells. You're welcome. Water breathing. Where's the 
Yeah, is Can we bring the giant with us? What level is water breathing? The giant is not with you. I think it's third level. Yeah, I found it. Okay. So... If you find a corpse down there, could you bring it back up for us? What? I well, have speak with dead. I, perhaps it could be of use to us. Well, why um, don't you come with? I can get up to ten people with this. Booker, <sighs> just Booker, just so you know, I can I can part water, so I can literally part water if you need so. Oh no no oh, no! no. I, I I assume as when I'm down there, I'll be on surface land. So, in a sense, I'll be fine. It's just I do not like the motion of the boats. Or if I feel that you know I should pay you back for throwing up, I can always create a whirlpool. But it's okay. Good. We'll see. I mean, I could also end the spell while we're all down there. <laughs> Wait, how many Anyways, people can you get water? How many people can you get water breathing on? <laughs> I can give people within thirty feet of me. Uh, I can grant up to ten willing creatures I see within range for What's twenty-four the- hours. Hey. Hours. Right. Yes. Wait, wait. Ten creatures? That means if you give air to a fish, it dies. No, it, it, no, no. I give a fish water breathing; it can breathe in their water. <laughs> oh, oh, god! That thought it was an air bubble or something. Sorry. That's that's I think, I think it's just, just kill it. I, I think it's just an ability. We turn yeah. into mermaids or something. I pull out a uh, a piece of straw or a reed. And uh, I use it for the ritual, which takes about 10 minutes, I assume. And if I do it as a ritual, doesn't that take up any spirit or no? It does not. Okay, perfect. So I designate myself, Anto, Vero, Delian, Barnon. Does anyone want to come with us from the crew? Well, that would cost extra, so we're good. Wait, we're, we're all going down there? It yes. appears so. Some somebody should stay over here just in case the dragon shows up up here. Yeah, I like agree with that. Too. I'll volunteer. So Aren't yeah. you curious what your music sounds like underwater? Yeah, <laughs> a musical underwater. It's the first experience. Go do it, Barton. I'll stay over here. Fine. <laughs> Get some pretty interesting waves. You know, Anto always finds a way to stay behind. Is there a reason for that? He's a coward. Anto, yeah. if you're gonna stay behind, could you clean the kitchen, please? We're gonna prepare some nice meal when we come back. Yes. Not- Are we sure we want to leave Anto behind? Oh no, no he's down. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna to. make sure he comes. And I am including him in this too. I thought there was a spell that that made you sink to the bottom of the ocean too. Or am I confusing that with? Something. It just makes oh. you have gills, and then you have half your swim speed as your move speed. So you guys, unless you have a natural like aquatic speed, you oh, just move at half your speed, right? Oh, you all do like what Master Commander pick up a cannonball and just jump in. <laughs> <laughs> I think those cost us money. Uh, this Barnan tucks his legs under as he jumps over the boat into the water. Um, you take a giant a lungs full of water into your, your lungs after Booker casts a spell on you, right? And you feel the liquid cold and oppressiveness into your chest. But the more you breathe, the easier it gets until it becomes and goes and your lungs feel like air again, right? And you're breathing water. It feels weird. I think about the scene in the abyss, right? Where the lady and they put the helmet on the guy and he starts yeah. breathing water. Kind of like that. Um, we all jump in the water and it starts getting dark, right? As we start to go towards the bottom of the water. We're pretty far out. Um, and. Give me a second. Also, while I was jumping off, I went to a vortex. Oh, not vortex, or out of waste. I'm going to grapple Lanto and try to pull him down with us. <laughs> Roll it up. Tied a rope around his leg and throw a cannonball off. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a acro- acrobatics or athletics, Anto. Acrobatics. Uh, monsters of magic, it would be balance or endurance. 
Oh, this wouldn't be like a defense save? That's a three. No. <laughs> Roll a three. You're with a three. Vero so was... grabs you, puts your hand on you, and jumps over the boat with you, Anto. You scream at all as you jump over. I'm like, oh shit! The sailors scream out to Anto, Bon voyage! Yeah, Vero is so persuasive that he needs to use force. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll swim back. Flash. It's like 5 p.m., right? Yes. When does it get dark? Like seven or six? Six. Yeah, six, seven. Um, I'd swim back up. Perhaps we should remove the Iron Lynx uh, signet while we are away. The way I understood it was Booker was going to try to cast an illusion at night. Oh, so okay. The Lynx wouldn't like just give you a flag. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's going to be done through illusion from what I understand? Yeah, Unless Booker mind, is I'm trying to bold, keep the bold illusion bold up. I'm assuming Booker removes the illusion. Oh, yeah. I, if if I had jumped off the ship and I'm we're sinking down low, it would have gone out of range by now. Sure, So sure. the flag would have just, just faded off into smoke. Uh-huh. There's, we go up there and there's no boat. It's only <laughs> just pieces of wood. So this is the timer. Now it's a little bit past five. Um, you guys are swimming down here for a while. And I'm gonna have Delian make his um, attention roll, right? Are you what level of okay. attention do you have, Delian? Uh, I'm master, I think it is. Whatever. So you roll two d six, right? So you roll d twenty plus two d six. Isn't it three d six because I'm two d six? No, master is twenty some points, isn't it? I'm sorry. Yeah. Or, okay, you put a ton into just, attention. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Then you roll three d six, my friend. Okay. Nothing Since slips by the Delian. Since I have wave and that gives me 120 Oops. feet, can I assist? So I made a mistake yeah. on the raw roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Booker, what's Point your out. attention at? This uh, is a base skill. You should at least have a minor skill in it, adept. right? Adept. Adept. So you're going to roll 1d6, right? You get it now? Everything at adept level, you just roll 1d6. Uh, uh, I rolled a 20, 29. So. 29, right. yeah. Then and Booker rolls. We'll see what Booker gets. Drop down the stairs. Oh, and it's gone. Five. Well, you have to roll. Did, what'd you roll for your d20? Oh, sorry. I, I only heard that you had said I had to roll a d6. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, still, we're still in kind of three. three to the mind. Yeah, so probably not, right? Yeah. Um, That's kind of how it works, too, in D&D, &D, right? You just roll the d d20, and your d20 kind of determines how you get randomly get it. But you could get really lucky on the 2d6 or, you know, 1d6. Um, as you guys are swimming deeper into the ocean, you cut, you spot something glimmering in the distance. Do we approach? So the twenty nine attention or the roll got me yep. the glimmering. Is yep. I, I tell the other guys, hey, there's something glimmering in the distance. Maybe it's the serpent, and it's going to eat us all. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the time for joking, Delian. <laughs> Some, is someone? Shaking dice in the game right now? I don't think I, so. Because I hear dice, I don't know why. I'm sorry. Um, all right. See, you're already hallucinating because you're talking to the trident, you know, too much. No, that's not... <laughs> I'm glad that you're the one who finds your own jokes funny. Hey, at least I'm amusing myself. That's where mm. we're going wrong. Hey, we're all having fun here. Let the child amuse themselves. Uh, I will cast, I'll give inspiration to whoever goes first to investigate the glimmering thing. We didn't bring the giant with us, right? For a sword, so no. Just five of them. This is the <clears throat> second time, yeah, we have not brought the giant with us. Yeah, we, we went out before telling him, so he doesn't know. Yeah. He's kind of useful. So Anto, I think you're brave enough to go check it out. But you're the leader, though. I'm so if I so if I do so if I perish, I, you know what? I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna check it out. Fine, fine. <laughs> I'll go. I go and check the glimmer. I'll back up Anto and swim after stealthily. I inspire Ant uh, Anto with the first underwater musical performance, and it comes out terribly. Under <laughs> the sea. <laughs> under the sea. 
Oh, is that what he yeah. says? Under the sea? <laughs> Everything's better under the weather, under the sea. <laughs> that, that's okay. Hey, Booker, you're going to help me research about yours and his little offspring, right? Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't know that we could talk underwater, I guess, since <laughs> water breathing. I, I assume we can. I don't know. Oh. Well, we would play very poorly if we couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, do you guys want to hear my sound effect for underwater talking? Oh, sure. Yeah. It sounds like shit. Here it goes. Hello. It doesn't sound any different. Yeah. Yes. Well, that sounds fine. That sounds fine. Hello. We all have to talk like this. Hello. There we go. That's the one. I'm underwater. I'm underwater. I'm underwater. You sound, like a, water. you sound like a robot with dying batteries. I know. It's terrible. Um, I'm underwater. What did, I'm sorry. What did Danny Anto, ask? Or something? Anto, as you approach, um, you realize it's a sunken treasure chest, half buried in the sandy seabed. The chest is ornate with intricate carvings and a rusted lock that looks like it's been battered by the ocean's current. See? What do you Money. Do? Yeah. So... <laughs> That's why I wanted to come out here. So I, 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 I can just break the lock easily then. That's what you're saying, right? I can just break you it. You take then. your, what weapon do you use to break it? Uh, I got a long sword now, because I'm going to try it, and so. You take I it, just, ah! and you swing down into the chest. Ah! Every, you feel this like force, like repulse off of you. Uh, Booker, make a magic roll, a knowledge or can of roll as you try to identify what spell is in place. Which that would be a magic roll, and magic for me is should be high. Yes, I am. A, I am. A, is that a master or a major? Okay. So that would be a d20 plus two d6, and then yep. add. Then I add my mind, which is three. Yep. There you go. I'm learning, uh, and it's rolling. Wee! Well, that's a twelve plus three, so fifteen. 15, it would be 10 plus the DC of the spell level. Um, so you pass, right? Okay. Um, it appears the chest has an arcane lock on it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, it seems to be magically locked, so we can take this above deck and get this taken care of, or I could unlock it right now. I think it's better if you just do it right now, because we're going to have our hands full if we just take this right now. It's fair. Um, but we it could be goods that may get wet, so I mean that's fair. Uh, I'll well, just uh, no, 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 no. So how big is it? The the, the chest is like like big enough for me to need two hands to grab it. It's a pretty large chest, probably about pretty big. Two three feet wide. Well, yeah. I got could, an option. It would, it would be too difficult to carry in one hand, so I would say it had the two handed property or two weapon property. Bag of holding. Oh. Keep it up. You can put it in Thank a bag you, of holding. That works. Wait, what? Yeah, can Worry I just can I can I just like I'll put the surface of the bag of holding onto onto the chest and then slowly wiggle it around it to push it in. <laughs> can you push the entire as you chest? as you do it, about like ten gallons of water also fall into the bag of holding while you do it as well, right? Ooh, as you yeah, open the bag of holding. So. Do not open a bag of holding under water. Wait, really? Is that a thing? I'm Do assuming not. it is. No, anyway, they go in there. There's a there is a specific thing like water floods in and it tears open. Do not. Oh, open okay, it. I, I will. <laughs> so I, as I'm about to do that, I get told that don't do that, and then okay. okay. I got a couple an idea. gallons of water get in <laughs> as Pyro yeah, cautiously just, just uh, tells you not to do it. Okay, I can just take the chest up there and I just wait for you guys up there with the chest. Fine, yeah, Anto. Stick it, stick it in the portable hole, right? Fine, just be, at least you did something useful. Yeah, just take this up, I guess. Or we could tie a rope to it and then just bring it up to the ship and then they could just hoist it up. Oh, we can just come back to it when we finish our things here. Sure. I mean... Make an investigation roll... Oh, I'm sorry, a uh, inspection roll booker. Okay, inspection. You're kind of looking Ooh. around, maybe assessing what's going on. Okay, that's a d20 uh, and a d6. All right. Mm-hmm. So, What's your mind? 
lost my mind. My mind. So, all right. Drop down the flight of stairs. Wee. Oh, that is Not too a good. Nine. Yeah, uh, so that is a total of 12. The DC probably isn't that hard. Y you look and you have to assume that this chest got carried by the current of the underwater sea, right? Mm -hmm. And yep. it probably was moved from somewhere else, right? Hopefully not far if it's heavy. Does it look like there's drag marks behind it? Or what, like a kind of like... You know how rocks can sometimes at the bottom of the sea move and they leave trails behind them? You have to make it another keen... investigation roll, but um, I would say at disadvantage now. Having keen mind, I do have... I know which way is north at all times, so I'm kind of yes. got a compass. Mm -hmm. All right, so 2d20. Oh my goodness, I am, someone is blowing up my phone. I am so sorry. It's my mom. <laughs> trying to contact Are you me. doing okay, kiddo? No, she wants me to spend time with her. Come oh, home yeah, and do that. let me get me some cookies. Oh, you she still playing that dumb D D and D game? Yeah. You, are you having fun with your friends? Yes. Okay, so disadvantage you said? Yes. Alright, let's see what this happens. Oh, well, that's an eight plus three, so that's <laughs> That is a, what, an 11? So then plus three more, that's 14. I just missed by one, unfortunately. <laughs> but you're, okay, you're, you're car but the underwater currents have probably destroyed the tracks too, but you might be close, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, you make so some I'll good assumptions, but unfortunately the clues just aren't, aren't quite there as you look around at the bottom of the ocean, you're kind of swimming around a little bit. Anto, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to add 10 minutes of timer. Anto takes the, 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 the chest up to the ship and then comes back, right? Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, yeah that, that I'll sounds add, better. I'll, I'll notify them. I'll notify them came that back. the general... Is there a chip up there? What is up there? The chip is still there? What chip? Ship. Oh, the ship? Our ship yeah, the, sh the ship, of course, is still there. <laughs> okay. Well, good news. <laughs> there's the a whole chip. Bunch of <laughs> the chip. We're funny ship. calling this ship the chip, by the way, guys. But, uh, chip is here. Chip. <laughs> the big chipper. Get to the chip. The big chipper. And that's uh, Captain Chip. <laughs> uh, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Captain Crunch. <laughs> uh. Captain and Charles totally Chip of the SS Chip. Um, unfortunately, the trail has kind of gone cold down here, Booker. Um, so to speak, as cold as the ocean can be. But, um, I mean, there's maybe more to find. I'll uh, I'll tell them that it seems that the, the, the currents have probably dragged the contents of the ship maybe a little bit further towards whatever general directions they're going at, so keep an eye out. I, d I don't have a general... Actually... Hmm, do I have any spells? Having all these spells now makes it difficult to know what I can do. Mm -hmm. You have to prepare those spells, though, right? Well, uh, yeah, but I can't prepare those spells because I don't have... Uh, well, I mean... I have my spells from my spell list, so there's that. Try to prepare. Yeah, you can always learn and then prepare, right, from those spells using D and D Beyond, right? You just click learn all, then prepare from those, right? Yeah, sure. I'll I'll do that, but but don't lose track so of your spells I, on your spell book, right? Yeah, I'm trying to to figure out. Someone else can do something while I'm looking at my spell book. You're our investigator. We're all I'm the investigator? <laughs> oh, good lord. Good Booker lord. Opens a, Booker opens a spell book and then he realizes it's underwater and it's the pages no, all no, get no, wet. No, 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 no. Just, no. Okay. Magic. Stop that. It's ma magic. Um, no, so it's a magic I guess, book. I guess we can look, just keep fanning out around <laughs> the area. I don't know. Could use does, some help down here, or does, is everyone just kind of just sitting there while I swim back and forth? Is there like a cavern around? Something I don't know, like rocks that might have an entrance to it. Make a perception. Big enough. 
Let's go. Perception. Let's go. I'm good at those. For sure. I will. I'm looking around for stuff all assist. Uh, 19 plus 8, which is 27. What? What's your dark vision at it now, Anto? Zero. You have Wait, the goggles. no. I, I got the goggles. Yeah. No. D didn't I give mm -hmm. it away? Mm -mm. I, I think I gave it away. No. Uh, did you give them to Delian? No, I still have it. I still have it. Yeah, okay. Who, here, who here has dark vision and who here doesn't? Book I has dark vision. I don't have dark vision because of wave. Delian does not have dark vision, so Delian is considered blind. I got a sixty feet dark vision. Under okay. twenty. Barnan, you have dark vision, right? Being a tiefling. Yeah. So Delian is the only one, right? Are you going to cast dark vision on yourself, Delian, or how are you going to do it? Uh, I don't think I have that spell. I, I I'll, I'll swim by, and seeing that she looks very blind, I'll just give her the dark vision. Okay, and I could cast light, couldn't I? Oh. Yeah, we might become a beacon of something else. So Well and two people yeah. think we're an anglerfish. I mean wouldn't it be easier just to cast light on myself or something? Or cast fireball. It brights cast, up the place. Uh. Cast, cast dawn. <laughs> the fireball only lasts like a second. Uh I'll cast light. I'll just cast light and uh see my way through. Delian, what do you cast light on? Uh, I'm going to cast it on my holy symbol. You cast it on your holy symbol, and um, you guys notice that the light begins to emanate around Delian. Um, but the problem is, is that now everybody can see you coming, right? Well, I'll stay here. behind if you guys are trying to be stealthy. So. It's not like we're gonna run into a dangerous serpent. It's not like this is some weird game where we have to have a <laughs> <laughs> shark, sharks, octopuses, sea serpents. Not monsters exist. So we don't see anything uh, with the seven, twenty-seven perception. The problem is, is you. I'm gonna say you see a glowing thing out there. It's hard to see from here. You have to get closer. I'll get closer. To it. Oh, Anto I'll follow right towards this way. We'll follow. Anto. You have an inspiration still. <laughs> if I can get far away from the light that is behind me, then yeah. Booker, Dude. you look down on the ground, and as we're swimming kind of farther away from this thing, you see the drag marks. You're heading in the right okay. direction, right? And okay. you look, and you see this. As you get closer to this thing, it appears to be a massive amount of jellyfish. And the drag marks lead up to this jellyfish swarm. As you dive deeper in the ocean, you begin to notice strange translucent mass in the distance. As you swim closer, the water around you becomes clouded with thousands upon thousands of tiny jellyfish. Their tentacles undulate in the current. The swarm Ooh. seems endless, stretching out before you in every direction. The jellyfish vary in size from the tiny ones to the size of your fingernail to the larger ones that could fit inside the palm of your hand. Some are pale pink colors, while others are deep and almost black shade of purple. So these thousands of jellyfish under here as we're kind of deep in the ocean, the drag marks lead up to this booker, but to go around the swarm would probably take three hours. And it is getting mm. late in the day. Jellyfish. I don't know how sentient jellyfish are. Wave would have probably been talking to me by now this entire time while we're under here, right? Uh, you have Wave on you? Yeah, I have been carrying Wave with me. Um, wave says, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, hey. Wave, I'm not. Yes? I'm more knowledgeable of land things. Jellyfish, can you communicate? We could try. All right. I don't know if we can tell them to move. <laughs> well, there's a lot of them out there. Oh my! Uh, at least clear a path, maybe. Why would they congregate like this? I don't know, but if only you believed in Lunir, then maybe we could pray to him, and you know, they would just move out of the way. 
What gods do you believe in, Archmage? I've been currently thinking about that. I mean, I've known gods existed most of my entire life, but I was always taught never to put much faith in the gods. Sounds a lot of... No. Well, unfortunately, Anto was a heathen hey, and a backstabber. You'd like to be a leader. <laughs> it's not like I don't believe in gods. They there is evidence that gods do exist, and such things like that. I'm just, I never had to actually put my faith in a god before. Well, you're never walking on the bottom of the ocean, and not too many people could say that. That is true. That's not. Right. But that's more magically inclined, I believe. Your potential. To, I understand that you follow this god, yes? I'm having a well, conversation yes. in front of a field of jellyfish. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> of course. Of course I believe in God. The greatest god of them all. The god of the seas. Look at his marvelous wonders before you. This giant wall of glowing jellyfish. Isn't I was throwing up less than... I was throwing up less than 35 feet, well, 35 minutes ago, up on the surface. I don't, I don't know if you know this now, but I'm not a big fan of the ocean currently. Currently. You would love it. I have an idea. Why don't we just walk through it? And Avira starts uh, walking uh, forward. As... as Vero, you walk through it, you move through the swarm and you feel the soft the gendulating bodies of the jellyfish brush against your skin. Their tentacles are everywhere, delicate and almost invisible. Until they make contact with your skin, you feel a slight sting. <laughs> it's not painful, but it's more like a giant tickle. <laughs> you hear him fucking giggle inside there. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's my thaumaturgy and like scream out of them. Guys, it's perfectly fine. They're perfectly safe. Uh, aren't you immune to poison and disease? <laughs> Viro, I'm, I'm gonna have him make a a check. That's saving now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's I'm one way. At it. Um, oh, it's a skill challenge check. I'm gonna have you roll. At, we'll have it be Constitution, or you can pick a skill that you want to pick. And I'm gonna roll a d20 with no modifiers to counter you. Is this to like? get through the swarm, mm -hmm. basically? Yeah, as you say, it's like oh. safe and everything like that. Yeah, I'll do athletics, I guess. Athletics? Okay, as you try to just push your way through. I roll a 15, so you have to roll an athletics roll. I got roll 28. 20. It could be safe, but um, unknown. That's the first skill challenge ch test that Vyra passes for the group. Delian, what if I you just guys push... It's perfectly <clears throat> fine in here. Just take the jellyfish. I thought we were just trying to... Uh, I could fireball it, but underwater, I don't know what it'll do. What a doubt. Blast it. That is a good question. Burn, burn baby, burn. Water, magical let's, fire. I don't get how that works. Let's... Im it could work. Burn, baby, burn. Right? We should it spread could your... Up the water. Spread your palette of magic. Weren't you talking about separating water earlier? Couldn't you move them? I've lost her when I started talking about other things other than fireball. I'm sorry, guys. No, no, I mean, what do you want me to do? Sorry. You were talking about parting the water. Could we not part or move the jellyfish using that ability? Of course I could, but it's using a lot of spirit for, you know, uh, purposes that we might need later. It's up to you. Well, it seems a bit of extravagant. It's either a little magic now or a three hour swim around this. Uh, let me check what part water actually affect is. Hold on. Why don't you move them with your trident? Can can you move? I, I look at the trident and ask that in my head. Can you move them? There is one final task, Booker, before we have to continue. Um, how should I put this? See, you need something from me. And I need something from you. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> you see, <laughs> we have, yeah, that's what we call it. We have a, what we call an impasse here, Booker. Uh, do you, you say you're agnostic? Well, I don't say, that, I, I don't, I don't think I'm agnostic. I've, I know of gods and I've 
I've touched a god recently, and that's weird. Uh, that's incredible! <laughs> welcome, welcome to uh, belief in the physical form. Well, I mean, not like I didn't believe it beforehand. I was just taught not to need gods. Well, let's just say, um, hmm, how could I put this gently? You need to believe in the god of Lunir, and uh, Anto did not want to build a temple, so now that task falls on to you. I see. Uh, I'm already building the temple. It's going somewhere else. I thought I'm, we were already, already building the temple. Did not yeah, Anto not tell you? Yeah, I'm already building the annex. Did, so, no. Did Andrew no. not tell you that the temple was being already built? No, uh, so... But I understand he uh, gave his money away or the gold was ill-spent on... God, I think he gambled it away or something. Uh, we we need about 5,000 gold pieces, uh, Archmage. Oh, um, well, there's already an annex being made for your god. Yeah. But that's pathetic! That's but pathetic, be... yeah, Have you not... Okay, I'm going to I'm going to just take him aside and just okay. Have you not ever heard of building things up? Small businesses can eventually grow into bigger things. Make a persuasion roll. Oh god, like in, it's an influence roll. You have to roll a d20, right? Influence, it's your, this is a part of your basic skills. I have I I do have a uh, adept in influence. So. so you roll d20. I roll a counter roll, right? A d20 and a d6. Yeah, right. roll it. This is right. better if you throw away your responsibilities to not someone else. <sighs> well, I rolled a five. Considering plus I have a plus, z a plus a d6. That is, yeah, that oh, is, you already rolled it. You rolled a five. Yeah, I rolled a, five a three. Plus probably zero. Five plus the soul of this, cr the, this thing. I'll say we tie, and it's sort of semi-convinced. Yes, yes. Um, I understand things have to move slowly around the Odyssey, but... I've been waiting ever since that damnable volcano to see a temple erected. And I've been nothing but chasing around fish, and now you want me to move these jellyfish for you? Well, let's just start off then by building up our rapport then, Sabi. How about you yeah. swear your loyalty and belief to the god Lutnir? I'm curious about your god, and the gods just in general. I'm open uh, to the idea, at least. <laughs> That's not good enough, my friend. I need solid belief. I can't. I put need him unwavering, up. immediate faith. And I can't put him. <laughs> I'm in a problem because I can't put him back into the bag. Because if I open the bag, uh, you lose it forever, and all, all, all the things decided. Yes, thank you for reminding me about that. Um, <laughs> you know, I think you're not giving Anto enough of a chance. He did get an annex ready and it's slowly being built together he just yeah. left me around like some paperweight i am wave i am looking for a champion of lunia will you answer the call that's kind of stupid why don't we just go through the jellyfish like vero's dead after you ladies first yeah yeah sit and go show us like didn't vero didn't vero go through them without any trouble He's in there, like, listening to this as they kind of move around him. I, Feels really good, Byro. It's got squishy. Can, 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 you, can you all just give me one moment? Do I want to swim somewhere just kind of isolated from this? Just... Fucking maniac. Uh, I'm sorry. You're, you're in private. I understand. You, you feel a little shy about it. All right, oh, let's get down on one knee. And what better place than in the bottom of the sea? On this, in the sea, on one knee, I, I don't, you know, it's, listen, I'm going to level with you here. Oh. I'm, I'm not, I'm not denying you your, your necessary need of a champion, but I'm saying if I could help you find a champion, then in part, I suppose, every story requires the, the service of bringing it to said champion someone to wield the weapon to deliver it to said who, person who is important enough to wield it. But I don't think I'm that special enough to be a champion of a god. <laughs> you can take one inside the uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 think, I think I will join Bureau just after the jellyfish. I mean, what? This is silly. Uh... Would it be feasible to use Mage Hand to move Jellyfish out of the way? 
or is there too many? I mean, there are uh, thousands. Um, there's like thousands of these small little jellyfish. So you you're gonna put your hand in there and just like rubs through them a little bit. It's kind of oh. like oh, it's a I swarm of jellyfish. Hand them away. Back them away. <laughs> I'll Bigsby hand them um, away. So Booker, I you mean, want a Bigsby hand? I, him? Well, I I can I can redirect the flow of water in the hundred foot cube, so we can just move it move them away. I'll use the I'll use the control water. So Is that like a concentration cast- spell? Um, good question. I think so. It sounds like a concentration spell. Yeah, it's a concentration spell. And yeah, Delian, how do you cast minutes. it? I could, I can hold it up to ten minutes. So I go bloop 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 bloop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cast control water, and then Booker Booker looks over at Delian. If that damn of a little girl it wasn't just believed in fire, well, yeah, she would be my champion. I hate to say it too, as well. I I feel your sentiment, Booker. You are aren't exactly my first pick either. But it is what it is. And, um, please. I need a champion. I need hope to be brought to Lunir. It can't just be all fire. You hate the girl anyways. What is better than to fight fire than with water? I'm not going to appease you just because I, you're, this is you using my hatred of Delian for this, and I will not t- tolerate that. It's not Personally, working. It's not working. <laughs> I, I can worship from here. You're going to have to. You're going to have to. If, if you want me to be the champion, because Anto definitely doesn't want you, you'll have to at least make a pitch to me personally. I, However, yeah, I can worship Lanier. You're not listening to this because this is inside my brain. Water ball. And you're you're, you're, ball. you're <laughs> you you'll have to get the what is that freezing sphere spell. Uh, mm, you know what? Pitch me pitch me why and I will happily listen and we can work on that. Okay. No how is this for starters? I, and then you start like feeling your breath like start to go away as it like releases the attunement on you. Joke's on <laughs> you. I already cast a spell for myself. <laughs> Shoot! I I tried my best. And you see the dark. But you see that you see that you see the dark vision go away. I cast dark vision on myself underwater. Trat. <laughs> I'm a, I'm an archmage. There might see, be an archmage who might actually enjoy you. You might I get a powerful wizard as a champion. Trat, I'm yeah. trying my best here, Booker, but you're you're just not. Do you, have you, you don't, do you have so any teachings of, Do you have any teachings about Lanier? Of course, he's the greatest god of the sea. Why? Why? Because he's the only well, look, one. <laughs> look, look at the marvel he's created. Look all around you. It's, you need to work on your general influence look, of getting people to follow. And look how and look how afraid. The little girl is. She can't, she's afraid to even use any fire magic down here. Just think of that, how powerful you could be to, you, to balance that out. My answer is not no, but not now. Believe in me, and maybe I'll believe in Lanier. How about that? You're playing very hardball with me. Well, if you want the jellyfish, let's just go. I am walking back by this way, but we're talking in our heads, so just you know, if you want someone who's difficult and stubborn enough to follow a god and dedicate themselves to someone, it's going to be a challenging. Nothing's going to be easy in life. Search continues, I suppose. Stuck in a volcano and now I'm stuck down below. My internet connection is now unstable. Ooh. Rip. Rip. <laughs> and as Delian casts Control Water, let me pull yeah. this spell real quick. This is pretty awesome. Whirlpool. It's a hundred foot cube, and I'm gonna redirect water, redirect the current to move the jellyfish away. Mark mm-hmm. water is kind of severe; it just removes water. So. And you're just re- you're just re- yeah. It's not one of these things where I'll say it's cool enough to where it works. And you wave your hands in the air through the throughout the water, uh, Delian, envisioning the water you wish to control 
its breadth and depth. And you place this vision of the air before you and breathe the words of the spell into it and a hazy image appears, the water in a minute as you concentrate upon it, you reach out within your hands to shape it, knowing the real water will respond to it. And you begin to just part the way the jellyfish away and you guys begin to sort of build your way around this swarm of jellyfish. It takes about another um, 10 minutes to walk through, but it's very good. Delian, I'm going to award you a point of inspiration for solving that problem as well. Awesome. Ira is uh, good. When, is you, that when, you parted, when you parted the water, uh, you accidentally pushed uh, Vero as well. <laughs> so he's also yeah, yeah. still just kind of <laughs> pushing his way through the little tickly, little tickly guys. Little you guys tickly. look as you guys are passing through almost like this bubble of water as you harmlessly push out the jellyfish. You can't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder as you move through the swarm. It's like nothing you've ever seen before, a beautiful and mesmerizing display of nature's power and beauty. See, Bucca, this, this could be yours. You could be the champion of it all. Now, does championing Lanier give you ownership of the oceans? Well, of course, he's the god of the seas. Hmm. Temptation. But I don't... Mm. I'll weigh my options, don't worry. Well, we'll weigh them quickly. I don't want you dying to some dragon without my power. It's all right, all right, all right. I, I'm just going to spend the time actually asking him questions about the religion and such. <laughs> because, you know, if I can get an in-depth oh, analysis shit. of this. <laughs> okay, well, Booker's, a, Booker's a planner. He's not going to just say, yeah, yeah hell yeah, let's do this. You guys come upon, um, as you guys are making your way through the mystery here, um, you guys come to, what's that? Give me a second. <laughs> Sorry. Can we start clean, up. cleaning up? Can we start cleaning up some of these dice? No, I like them there. <laughs> okay. Guys, um, my mom's going to kill me if we don't get rid of them all. As you continue to swim deeper into the ocean, you spot something looming in the darkness ahead. As you approach, you realize it's the remains of an old shipwreck. The hull is battered and broken, with jagged holes and twisted metal jutting out in all directions. Sharks are encircling around the wreckage, their dark silhouettes visible against the hazy blue-green water. As you swim closer, you notice that the ship appears to have some burn damage. And I will load the map. Ooh. There's a map? Yeah. Wow. Of course. Wait, you plan on us going underwater? I don't know. Uh, Sharks. I have a pan. Oh, God. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was what Delian <laughs> sounds like. Oh, no. Sharks. That's that, that was, that was fun. Del Delian underwater? That was fun. Boop, 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 boop. And I'll put you guys' models out. Hey, Booker, this uh, dice is kind of fixed. Let's remove someone else. So, ah, so Booker, this was a really safe trip to talk to a dragon. Thanks, thanks for that. This is more of a... I mean, if you can't handle a couple of sharks, I understand. Well, then I, I'm certain that you have plenty of spells in your pocket that can take care of this situation. I yeah. have a sword. Do you? Yeah. Or are they all fire? Me? Yeah. I'm just, a, I'm just a poor teenage girl, a humble servant of Ivona, with nothing better to do than follow a bunch of grown men to talk to a sea serpent that eats ships for breakfast. I'm in good shape. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. This is really neat. Hey, that's a pretty good speech. I'm getting to feel like you don't like us. <laughs> I love you. Okay. It sounds genuine for sure. He doesn't really love you. Some parts, Booker, of the hall are charred and blackened. Barnin, the metal looks metal, looks warped and melted in places. It's clear whatever caused the shipwreck was a violent, destructive force. The sharks seem to be attracted to the wreckage. Perhaps drawn by the scent of decay and death, they swim around the edges of the hull, their sharp teeth glinting in the muted light. You can hear the sound of their thrashing tails as they 
scrape their rough skin against the metal. To see water. Hold on. It's really neat. Ooh. What do you guys do? I see green. I see green. Red roses too. So where are we? Is this like where we are just in general yeah. down here? Just put okay. you down there, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. There are Let's three, go. there appears to be three reef sharks out there. Okay. All, all yours, Booker. Okay. I, I, I look, I look up to you. You're the master of wave. Now, now, Booker, if you behave of and you swear your loyalty, Lunia, I think we could talk to these beasts. Behave? Well, yes, you, you've been quite actually, rude. You can't talk. You can't talk to them. Yeah, that's true. You know, I can can and can't do. You're not talking. Uh, no, but wave wave allows you to talk to fish, if I remember correctly. Anto would know that. Yes, I am aware of that. So talk I... to them. Tell them that they should eat Anto or something. I will use a uh, shiny. What do you do, Barnum? Dancing item thing. I'll throw out my dagger and cast uh, the dancing item stat block thing on it. Okay. Dancing underwater? What? Uh, um, gritty under the waves? <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to prepare Obscurement of Ivona just in case. Okay, hey, what does that do again? Uh, it creates a 30 foot fog basically uh, smoke fog and kind of like lots of um, macro damage okay you create a it fog Dillian, let me take I'm a look i'm not doing it yet i'm just i'm just holding on to oh this. yeah i know what that does that's kind of like the volcanoes what i thought about that is that's like volcanic ash really yeah, you put yeah it i mean it's a power that's put in there well you i'm not gonna do it yet i'm just okay you're preparing I'm it sorry? though you're just mentally preparing yeah. it I'm mentally preparing it just in case. Um, I have put out a it dagger for you. Yeah. I'll enable it to fly, right? And then we will. What do you want to call the dagger? Oh, that is so cool. Uh, floating dagger. One. Floating it's dagger. A, I thought maybe you had like a it's name a for it. Dagger. It's just a mundane dagger that I have animated. Oh, okay. Not like, uh, a, not like a companion or anything. Alrighty. That would be behind. Uh, why not? There you go, buddy. You have app control of the dagger now. Yeah, I'm gonna be behind Barnall. Oh, it is a construct. Oh, it is a companion. Okay. Let me look up the name then. I will I'll use the Phantom Divinity to sacred weapon. As we get ready to kill sharks. As you strike your weapon, you want to kill some sharks. How do you strike your weapon, Byro, to bless it with Ivonia's fire? Uh, you see my halo comes up. I literally grab it and just like put the blade through it and pull it back. Put it back <laughs> on my head. <laughs> what do you guys do? I call her Mornia. Mornia? All right. There you go. What do you guys do? All right, y'all ready? That's I'm ready. Ready. where I'm going to be. The plan was going to go in there, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. And I start uh, sprinting. Oh, man. Sprinting so, man. underwater. So he goes about where, to swim. Where, where, yeah, where do you want to? Like, you guys want to move up to here, really? Is that what we're talking about? Uh, we, we have to get to the ship. That's I'll the main goal. Right? within 30 feet of Vero. Okay. I'll just, what I'm going to do is Vero moves up, so I'll move Vero up to here, and then I'll move everybody else kind of behind him, or you guys can move wherever you want to move. Vero hasn't, ah. appa Vero hasn't apparently provoked the sharks quite yet. Vi uh, Vero, as you get closer, you notice that they seem to be feasting on the bodies of other creatures that are here that maybe have drowned, right? Mm -hmm. And a few of them are still lurking by is there is basically fresh food or food here. I wouldn't say fresh food, but food. Are you all ready? I say back to them. I guess we are. You're all uh, the way over. 
Oh, you're going to regret going over there. I'm going to use a thaumaturgy <laughs> to scream at the sharks. Okay. And get their oh attention. Talk God. to the sharks. All right, let's roll initiative. Ah! It's, 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 it, but it's, it's, it's screaming through water, so it's like going to be... Apparently screaming right. and underwater is way more effective than even through the air. It's like so, much louder. Oh, yeah. Ma maybe it sounds like a whale. It's just faster. <laughs> uh, it doesn't amplify it. So oh, that's true. If, yeah. I have, if I have an adept level in initiative, what does that do? Is there it means that you roll a d6 to your initiative score. Okay, thank you. When you roll right. it. Mm -hmm. So does you can actually you can actually train an initiative in Monsters and Magic. That is correct. Oh, <laughs> so I have uh, a. I roll a six. 20. So who? I have a twenty-four. Twenty-four for Delian Viro. Seventeen. Anto. I got whatever it is minus three. So ah uh, two. What two. uh what stat uh, do you Barnum? add to? I got a six. Body. Body. Okay. Six for Barnum. Booker. Uh, uh, that would be an 18, then. I think you go, Viro, you said you had a 17? Yes. Okay, so Booker's up next. Delian is up first. Um, do I see anything? Other than the shark really far Viro away. lets out a giant scream. You see the voice and sound waves ripple through it. The sharks get all attention, and they begin to approach whatever's there. Um, I'm gonna hold. As I said, I was mentally thinking of my action anyway, so I'm gonna hold my action until um, if they attack or not. So I'm just gonna hold it. <clears throat> okay, holding an action, Booker. Uh, I'm going to talk to Wave. Just gonna s say, all right, you know what? Yes, yeah, sure. I'll uh, be your champion. Why not? Get down on a knee. Okay, I'll get prone, I guess, on a knee. So it takes six seconds to do it. Swear six. your loyalty to Lanier that he is the one true god. I swear, I, Booker Carville, swear my fealty and loyalty to Lanier, the god of the sea. Yes, we have an archmage on our team. <laughs> I knew you could be the champion, Booker. <laughs> Byron, well, if, it, if, it's, if it's anything, Carvel is a member who works on a ship, so that might mean something. I think <laughs> I, forgot, I, I forgot to uh, uh, alternate these guys' initiatives, so let me go through that real quick. Uh, but this one, uh, let me take a look. I can pull them up too, guys. Oh, oh. oh a Carvel is a type of ship. Sorry. Oh, the more you know. I'm looking at their swim speed. Know? It is 40. All righty. This one swims down here and dashes up to... I'm going to say it dashes up to Viro and makes one bite attack. I'm going to roll this stuff, by the way. I have Monsters of Magic. The guys are working in Monsters of Magic. Let me roll it. Of course, I get something lucky, but... Uh, I roll... I try to hit a 17. What's your AC? There, Viro. My AC is 19. So I missed you. I rolled pretty high, too. I rolled a natural 14. Um, Booker, that was your turn. The next Reef Shark is up. It's over here and swims over. It spends three dash, spends its whole movement, so three a action points, Viro's up. As the I sharks use, are swarming um, you. I cast Vortex Warp at a third level to okay. on a, uh, the one on the left of me. Hey, and what I do you want to do with it? By Anto. I have to make a save with it, right? Yeah, con save. Con save. Did I hit that right? A con save, you said? <laughs> you did. Yep. The body. I pass with a 19, I think. You certainly do. Okay. And I will bonus action. Uh... You see the ripple goes around the shark. It like breaks out of it and it snarls at you. <laughs> uh, bonus action branding smite. So next attack I make this 2 to 6 extra. Sure. Last reef shark is up. It swims. I'm just moving it over here, 120 feet right there. So it gets up to there. Barn is up. Uh, do did you do anything with silvery barbs? Did you nerf it at all? Uh, I mean, I put it in uh, Monsters of Magic, and I think what it does is you can use your reaction. Or wait, no. See, it was a depreciated spell because it's under. I changed it. So let me take a look. Uh, you get to reroll the last attack. 
and you can cast it at an enemy as well. That's oh, all you can okay. do with it. And actually, I made it so you could upcast it, right? And the saving throw is a soul save. So I actually make a saving throw with it, too. It doesn't automatically happen. Okay. Because it's just a first level spell. So I definitely, it's been nerfed, but it still works and stuff. I get the re roll, dude. You just make, they make a soul save and then they re roll it. All right. So my turn, I'm going to have Vicious. I'm going to just Vicious Mockery the more Hurt Shark, which I think is the one on the right. Uh, there's no Hurt Sharks right now. Oh, then I'll, I'll just do three Vicious damage, Mockery. The one on the right. Yeah. All right. Let me pull it up again. So this one makes a soul save, right? And I, I fail with a 13, right? So you did 2d4 damage. Uh, it takes three damage and has disadvantage on its next attack roll. And then I will do Bardic Inspiration on Vero. Okay. Show him your fiery passion. How do you lock this fucking shark, by the way? <laughs> Ugly ass. And uh, <laughs> that will be the end of my turn. And then does it go to my dagger's turn or Anto? Mm -hmm. It goes to your Anto and then your dagger because summons go last. Okay. Well, that's the only sharks, right? It's three. Just three, I guess. So I might use so it's half the speed, I'm guessing. So Yeah, it's, your speed is halved here because you have no aquatic speed, so that's your dash. Yep, right there. That's it. That's it. More uh, Mornia is up. And again, Mornia moves at half speed as well. Even with flying? You hover? Yes, because you're in water. Okay, then 15 feet. Hmm. How do I make it show the movement while I'm moving it? Uh, you have to hit the M key, then the number four, and then hopefully that'll toggle oh. it on for you, buddy. Okay. And that's the end of the, or I'll end have the a turn. dash. Yeah, dash up. Okay. And cool. for the end of their turn, I increase fire speed by 10 feet. Alrighty, oh, alrighty. Yeah, a lot lighter. Uh, yep, it's up. 30 seconds, Stallion. I'm just going to move forward a little bit. Okay. That's one action point. I'm going to... Two action points. And I'm going to cast... I'm going to cast Bless on uh, Barno. Uh, who's Mornia? No, the, Mine, the dagger. Uh, Anto. Construct. And... and uh, where the hell's Vero? Uh, and Vero. What's the AoE distance of it, though? I don't think you can uh, get all I mean, those it's people. 30, it's, it's 30 feet. That's why I was trying to move in the center there. Remember? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I'll allow you to hit anybody you want. What do you want to do? Yeah, so I'll hit the three people with the bless spell, and they'll get, you know, some Anto, so we have it on Anto, we have it on Byro, and, and you want it on and, Barno, and, right? And uh, Barno, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing about Monster Magic. Now you've cast that spell, you're concentrating, it takes one action point to maintain that concentration per turn. That you can have multiple concentration yep. spells up, okay? So I've used up uh, all my action, that's fine. Yep, Byro, uh, Reef is R, up. Um, these guys are not intelligent enough to flank you, but they are, you know, predatorial hunters. They do have pack tactics, though. They do attack with advantage, though, when they do make the roll. Let me roll it up. So they take one bite attack onto you with advantage. Roll a natural 20. I will silvery roll. barbs that. Okay. Well, you got plus, you got D4 to everybody, so anyway. Um, all right, here we go. I'll see if I save, make the saving throw. I roll it in public. I pass the saving throw with it. Wait, wait. What's the spell save DC? Uh, 17. So Fails. So oh. I failed the roll. Okay. I rolled a 17 on the second one. So you use your reaction. And the Silvery Barb fails. Booker's up. I mean, Silvery Barb works. That's all it does, though. It just makes the okay. re-roll happen. So okay. I'm going Booker's to... Up. I need to check how far away these things are for me. They are... They Back are. The uh, I mean. Rise, champion of Lunia. Yeah, talk to the sharks, Booker. I mean, you're, you're the one who wanted to use that thing. Sure. Oh, no, they're hostile. Uh, they're hostile, so I don't think they're going to leave. Uh, they get advantage on any saving throw versus charm. Charm? Yeah. yeah, if it's a charm effect. Depends on what you're trying to do. Weird. Mm -hmm. What? Because we've rolled initiative. They're hostile now, right? 
Oh, that's for okay. That's charming, as in the sense of like trying to manipulate mm-hmm. them. Okay, well, I was thinking you meant like just spells that count as charms, just in general, because I was going to cast um, Tasha's and my. I was going to cast Mind Whip at third levels. Is that a what DC is that? That is an intelligence save. That means okay. it's going to be a sixteen. I fail. Both Your sharks are not that intelligent. You can hit, you're hitting both of them because you're upcasting. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? I cast. Okay. I cast it at third level, so it hits two targets. Yeah, most beasts, as you know, Booker are not that intelligent. So it's easy to control their mind. So they're with, especially with illusions and things like that, right? Yep. Full damage. So they're going to both take. I'll just roll two sets of three d six in here. It'll roll. I don't. Oop. There it goes. First one takes sixteen psychic damage. Okay. And the second one takes eight. So they, since they failed, they can't use the reactions until the end of its next turn. Moreover, they can't. They can either only get a move, an action, or a bonus action. They only yep, get one. I'll just say three. minus one AP. Um, All right. So Reef Shark is up now, I believe. Unless Booker, you have one action point left. What else do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to actually do a bo- one point to channel mastery. Try okay, the new cool. thing that you made. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Channel one mastery. Um, the, this brief shark is up. It attacks with advantage. Uh, if that's the one on the right, it has disadvantage from vicious mockery. Um, it okay, is... Flat. I'm not sure. Sh- oh, so it's flat on the first attack. Okay, sure. I roll a t- dirty 20 disadvantage. Yep, it is. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I ro- I'm sorry. So I just rolled out dirty 20 with disadvantage. Um, that hits. They do seven piercing damage to you. It bites out into you, Viro. Blood starts to come out of your arms, and they get more, you know, furious as this happens. That's his first attack. He gets two attacks, but um, because of the thing Booker does, but the second attack is a disadvantage. It hits with a 23. Uh, I will um, use my shield for that one. Okay. Um, you shield. Boom is a first level spell and it doesn't do any damage. You see it come down and it ripples against the force of your spe- shield as it senses your blood in the water. Viro is up. Viro will take his attacks on the one on the left. You have a bardic inspiration, just a reminder. Okay, is that a d6 or a d8? Uh, it's a d10 you can add after the roll, oh, but damn. before you know the result. Mm-hmm. Okay. Say everyone's at it the That's a thirty three to hit the <laughs> Roll damage. Everyone's at it the ten ten temporary hit points, right? From the uh yeah, aid. I did. Uh, he takes twelve slashing plus the branding smite, so that is That's right, because you had um you got hit once so you have to make a concentration check on that branding smite. See if you hold it. Oh, that is right. Con save. That is a 15. Yes. So roll branding smite damage. I think it's 2d8 or 3d8. It's a 2d6. That is 6 rare. How do you kill the shark? Oh. uh, I stab it real good and then on the inside the branding smite happens and it just glows. and You see its (laughs) mouth and eyes light up and like a flashlight and then it falls to the ground. (laughs) Real good. You know, take, no, no, shark, my shark, second... shark meat is good. Kills it. One liner. <laughs> I'll yeah, take shark, my shark, shark, shark bite is good for vitamins. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that hits. Uh, we can Old sell damage. these at the store. That is 14 slashing. And I. Well, I don't know if I. It's bloodied. Yeah, I'll smite. I'll smite at first level. Yep. Using a lot of spell slots. Wow, and that's uh, two extra damage. I rolled Woo-hoo! both ones. Don't spend <laughs> it all one place there, Viro. Just b- destroying it. That's why they and nerfed you in 6e. Uh, uh, you said they can't take reactions? Yeah, they, they can't cannot. take reactions. I will move... 15 feet towards 
And to you swim you with your arm. An extra ten feet from the dagger. Oh, so that would be I guess five feet. Five feet, yeah, okay. Yeah. That is a cool I can't, dagger. I can't move anymore. Cool. Reef Shark is up, swims over to Anto and does one attack onto Anto. Here we go. I roll a 19. 21 AC. Barnon's up. Um, I'll just do a vicious mockery on the one that attacked Anto. Okay. And that will be five damage if it fails with a 17 whiz save throw. It does fail. I roll well, but it doesn't have that great of a wisdom save. Okay. And right, we'll damage. have disadvantage. On its next attack, okay. And then I will do an inspiration on Anto, and that'll be the end of my turn. Anto's up. Well, so what I'm going to try to do is just, like, sheet my blade and try to grab the shark. I'll grab you, the shark, but... You have disadvantage on this attack. I'm inspired, though. <laughs> you want to cancel out with inspiration? <laughs> yes. Roll it up. Uh, this is, uh, you had disadvantage from Shimmy. <laughs> I have a disadvantage, so it's a straight roll, or is it? Yeah, straight roll. So that was me, by the way. That was straight me. roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. She gave me disadvantage. Yeah, I have an eighteen. You roll. You hit. So roll damage, Anto. Alrighty. Damage was. Wait. So grapple is damage. Um, grapple. No, this is your athletic check. You want to grapple this creature? All right. Yes. Here we go. Let me roll it up. Um, at plus one. So you grapple it. Its speed is now zero as you try to thrash this creature. It's only medium size. I'm just grabbing right there, and, and I imagine I'm grabbing uh, one of one of the tooth of the uh, shark. Yeah, you wrap just, your hands around. You're trying to headlock it a little bit. Yeah, I'm just trying to to rip that that tooth out. <laughs> Morning is I up. want one. Ramonia, dear, take care of that. And I'll move up to the shark and do Force Empowered Slam. Ooh. And that is my spell attack modifier to hit. So D20. Uh, plus. This is that hit. That hits. hits. Okay, yeah, so then that is how much damage? 1d10 plus two, plus four. The So we had a person give disadvantage and advantage to the next PC rolls. Those cancel out. All right, so it's 10 damage to the shark. 10 damage, still up, but badly hurt. And that's the end of Morning's turn. Okay. Um, Delian is up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a second level guiding bolt at the most injured reef shark. Okay, roll it up. Roll an attack roll. Uh, so use your so bending spell power. Be... You use your bending spell power. Right, your bending weapon attack roll. Uh, That's what you do. So you're using magic. Yeah, you're using magic to use as a weapon. So range attack, range spell attack. Are you trained okay, in bending, so what, what, or did you mess that, up? What's that? What is Anto doing? Anto is What is D twenty plus D twenty plus what then? Uh, your bending weapon skill. Uh, I, it's just minor, so it's one, right? Uh, minor means you don't roll with disadvantage. Okay. Just roll straight so D twenty. You just need to rework your skill points. Mm -hmm. Do I need to yep. add anything, or you add Can your add, like, spell casting essence? You add your soul, right, as a, a priest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve, you hit. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you'll you'll rework the spell. You'll rework it and put some more points on that, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 18 points. How do you blow the shark up with this guiding bolt? So basically, I call on Ivona's power, and instead of casting fire, I send a ray of light, and the light basically bursts the shark into a million pieces so that we can eat it later. <laughs> million, like, what does it call them? Chum? Yeah, right? yeah. 
The chum eater becomes the chum. Booker's uh, up. Um, that's the end of your turn because you're holding that one spell's concentration. Use two action points, your turn's over, Booker's up. Okay. Uh, it's. I'm trying to figure you're out what the range Holding mastery. Is. I'm trying to figure out what the range of uh, 100 far, 120 feet. Okay, because I'm willing to try some of your things that you made. Sure. So, you want to try to release something for one spirit? Well, no, I'm going to use another. I'm going to use one because I have three points. I'll use okay. two more points to, to build this mastery up because I need to go over, I think, whatever mastery I do have. Okay, and so what level of mastery releasing. are you trying to charge at? So you're trying to build up one more mastery as a quick action? Uh, yes. Okay, so you build up, up. use one uh, action point, and you still have two action points remaining, so now you have two mastery. And I want to try and fire an arcane blast. Okay. It has, it has a range of 120 feet. So. Roll a ranged spell attack, right? And it requires one spirit, I think, right? I think so. Uh, so yes, use one spirit, so mark spirit. one spirit on your sheet, right? And then roll a ranged spell attack. All right. Uh, and and use your bending... Better. Use your bending weapon skill, like we talked about, like I just told Delian. So you roll a d20, that's your main roll, plus your bending skill, so whatever that is, and then plus your mind modifier, because that's your spell casting essence. All right. I'm only adept, because I'm still working on trying to figure out how to run this. Mm -hmm, Let's sure. see here. Uh, ooh. You roll that's a natural three. one, and you hit Antone. Roll against Antone's uh, armor class. Roll another d20. Plus D6 Wait. is roll a natural one. Okay. So that's a spell that I... Roll 16 Six. plus D6, right? Yeah, my D6 was... Uh, well, roll it again. It's a fresh oh, roll. I have to roll a new one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Six. Six. You hit Anto with this ability. You hit Anton with... As you're kind of novice to this idea, you splash it out and the arcane blast propels through the water like a jet. Hits Anto in the back, roll damage. Ah! It's what two d ten because I'm using two. That was my yes. plan. Mm -hmm. All right. Force damage, I believe. Yep. Uh, inspiration ten. doesn't stack, right? It uh, it's I it, I believe it does. I'm not sure. Wait, did it was oh, okay. As you strike Anto in the back, you hit him four. Let me look up the damage. Did you say ten force damage, Anto? Yeah. I and. Mean, Ten force. You're still grappled with it. You're racked from behind, though. You're like, is there another shark hitting me from the back? <laughs> uh, what the hell? Ah! Surprised I was able Vi to shoot that through. Viral so is up. So it's two points that I use. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and now you're down to zero at mastery, right? Yeah. So cool. I'll just move. I'll just. Oh, I was going to move a little bit forward, but uh -huh. since I have no, one point left. No, because that's the, it, to cast that uh, spell it takes two action points, right? It's so an does, ability. Does it was an ability, not a spell. So that's two plus one. You built it up. That's so you now you have zero AP left. Your turn is over. Viro's okay. up. Yeah. Unless it's a quick ability, I can go back to it if you want. Viro's up. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I will attack well, the grappled shark. Yeah. Uh, you just roll a straight roll. I got a natural one. I hit natural. <laughs> no, it gets a counter. It gets a counter attack on you as it lashes out. How do you cr describe how you utterly fail? Uh, Anto's doing this dumb little fucking dance in Talespire, so I'm going to blame it on that. It tries to snap at you as it does it, and you see that its blade go like, you know, it bites down into your blade and you pull it back out. I will go for a second attack. The only, the only reason why he's dancing is because I hit him in the back. So it's all my this fault is that he got her attack. Is oh, he able to use minus 5 plus 10 mod? Uh, by the way, you are um, roll this one at disadvantage. Is, I'm just removing this cube. This one is from Fallen Gong from 50 minutes ago. Roll with disadvantage, Viro. Mm -hmm. Normally, I, I should, I'll try to turn this off. So a dirty 20. You still hit. Roll, roll damage, buddy. That is pin slashing. Ring. It's almost bloody. Now I'm understanding how these abilities work. Yeah, man. It's pretty simple. I try to make it simple, yeah. at least. Well, yeah, I, I didn't realize what the, the stars were meaning. That's how much AP it costs. Mm -hmm. And I now will... I do now. I'll just uh, quicken spell uh, Sacred Flame. 
Okay, and then I make a deck save, right? Yeah, deck saved. Fails with a 14, I believe. Yep. And it Tries to wiggle out of the way, but the fire comes up to it. Nine radiant damage. Nine. As it takes holy damage drawn from the power of Ivonia, it's bloodied. It's still grappled um, with Anto. It tries to break Anto's grapple. Uh, Anto, roll a um, an athletics or acrobatics roll. Athletics. Let's go. Mm -hmm. That's going to be 13 plus 13. That's uh, 26. It fails on its first attack, so now its second attack is at disadvantage. Tries to bite into you and doesn't hit. Uh, I'm going to say it's, that's the end of his turn. Barnin is up. All right. Another vicious mockery on it. What do you say to the shark? Uh, speak shark and say that his <laughs> mother was a whore. <laughs> Uh, let me make a saving throw with the dude. Fails. Roll damage. Five. Five. Psychic yep. damage. Ouch. And up. I'm going to save my inspiration now in my turn. Okay. Anto's up. Oh, so still not dead? Okay. It's pretty well, tough, I guess. <laughs> as I'm grappling, I'm going to attempt to, to, to punch it on the eye. <laughs> roll it up. As <laughs> you try to like do like a WWE maneuver on it. Yeah. One of those like eye gouges or whatever they do. <laughs> As a, a six plus nine. That's well, damage. 15. You do your strength mod and damage as you do an unarmed strike. What's your strength mod, Anto? Uh, strength mod is five. One plus strength, so you do six. Uh, six. It's badly hurt. It's on death's door. As you That's gouge like one attack. of its eyes out. Mm -hmm. I'll try to hit it once more. 14 plus 9. How do, you, how do you kill it WWE style Anto? Uh, I'm assuming <laughs> the first hit like takes his eyeball out and the second one goes right in there. <laughs> <laughs> you see Anto just gouge its eyes out right in front of you, Viro. Blood begins to pour out and its body begins to kind of float up a little bit. Like, you see clapping. that? You see that, Viro? I punch things and they die. <laughs> <laughs> You just got me at a bad time that one time you beat me. It's about time, man. We can, Anto, we can settle sure that when we, long uh, enough. when we get back. Yeah, you sure took long enough. <clears throat> I'm going to take the a shark tooth out of it. The biggest one that I can find. You pull out the largest shark tooth out and make a survival roll. Let's go! I'm going to fail it, but I'm going to try it, though. This would be a skinning roll for okay. Blast, Blasters of Magic. Five plus eight. That's, you can uh, roll the inspiration, baby. I already used it. You did? You, yeah. Oh, you pull shit. out. You notice. pull out the giant tooth of the shark, Anto, and then uh, Wave looks at you and he says, "Look at Anto just being so cruel with the fishes here. Now we can't question them." No, well, it's not like they are going to be very welcome to fresh meat in the area. If anything, yeah, it's not like they're intelligent and answer questions. Sorry, right, you're not in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Snap! <laughs> you sure do spend a lot of time talking to that phantom you don't, have an object. You don't know that I'm talking to it because I'm talking to it in my head. Well, I'm thinking, like, you should have talked to the sharks. We'd have to fight it, so... You guys, um... You guys want to search the wreckage? Yeah. Roll. Who wants to roll the investigation slash inspection roll? I mean... Go ahead, Booker. I think you're I the champ here. Does anyone want to help me and maybe assist in searching since there's a lot you, of us in the big ship? I think you roll with advantage, my friend. All right. Uh, so that's going to be... I I'll think. inspire you. Yeah. Okay. Inspection. That's... Also a D6, so that is 2D20 plus 3 plus a D6. So D6. Okay, and wow. Woohoo! Really? You want to use the inspiration? Sure. sure. A 3 plus a 3 plus your mind mod, so you're already like um, 
What is it? Three plus three, six plus mine, you're at ten. All right, and so what's your inspiration at? Uh, a d10, and then you can also use my moat of potential to basically roll the advantage. Oh, to roll the moat at advantage? Uh, you can roll the inspiration at advantage, so 2d10. Oh, okay, so I'll do that then. Thank goodness. So I'm playing focusing music that you would typically hear in a study hall. That's plus, so plus a five. Plus five? So, so yeah, since um, 15. The advantage would yeah, 15. Booker, you look around the ship a little bit, and unfortunately, it has been completely pillaged. There are a few floating bodies that are around. It's hard to tell what they or who they were burned. Some of the bodies are badly burned, right? Um, and the sharks, of course, have gotten to them as well. But beyond that, there is no loot or cargo, so to speak. Strange as it all has been pillaged. Um, you'd have to spend more time to try to find and catch up more on the trail. Well, we got 24 hours worth of water breathing. If anyone wants to take their time. I am going to cast Speak with Dead. On the, one of the guys? <laughs> on one of the corpses. While that's going on, I'll give more of a thorough look around in the background. Okay, so I'll let you up. roll again, Booker, with advantage, and I'll tell you if you can, because you rolled like super ass before. So every time you re-roll something like this, the DC goes up by five. Mm. Uh, I'll try to, I'll, I'll try to give him uh, assistance. Yeah, he's already rolling with advantage as the group is helping him search for any other clues or wreckage upon the shipwreck. Well, what are we looking for? The clues to the dragon, or? Yeah, and I want to go to Barnen before we probably finish the game. I want to see what Booker's role is, though, real quick. Okay, so as I uh, can I add guidance to uh, Booker? Yeah, he can only use it once per day, and he adds another D four. Oh shit! So this time you roll a lot better. Yeah. Uh, let me go to let me go to Barnen real quick. Is you place your hand on one of the dead sailors? His burned body is there. And you just see his burnt eyes open up, and they're blackened. Yeah. What cargo were you carrying on the ship? Slaves. Were the slaves oh. killed? Magic. I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, because I'm whispering too low? Yeah. <laughs> he says he says slaves, gold, and magic. Oh, okay. That's that's about par for the course. Magic items that rare magic items? Yes. Were the slaves killed indiscriminately? No, it happened so fast. That's your Man. final question. Oh, I thought I got five. Oh, I thought you only got three. That's coming in. I thought we got ten questions. <laughs> well, no, the game's twenty questions, guys. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah twenty-one questions. It's, yeah, it's got, twenty-five words. You know, you gotta ask them animal, vegetable, or mineral. Come on, guys. I'm gonna ask a couple of five questions. Okay, you get two more. Um. Can we offer ideas? Or am, I'm, I'm busy doing stuff, sorry. Any other questions from anybody else? Did he see what happened? Who attacked? What attacked you? I, uh, I couldn't hear that either. I think it's fire. It's fire. Yeah. Fire, the ship was burning. Last question. What to be good? What is you're trying to find out where the dragon is, right? So where'd they True. go? <clears throat> Ooh, where did they come from? Where'd he go? Did you where see from, where idea. the attack came from? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. Southwest. 
Excellent. <laughs> I think it would have been nice to know if it was from the air and or the water. Success. Is there yes. any corpses that were brand that have a branding on them? Yeah, I was going to look for that as well. Um, Booker, yeah, with the second pass of the ship, you spend another ten minutes. Everybody makes a con save slash body save. DC 10 or takes a stack of exhaustion as we push past 7 o'clock in game time. Because yeah. we've been up for over 12 hours or whatever, right? Or basically, our adventuring day is starting to come to um, a close in certain regards. Uh, Viro takes a stack of exhaustion. Oh, so this is does. body or this is a body, yep. Body save. Body yeah, slash viro. <laughs> I keep feeling a con save as a paladin. But that no, natural I'm one. <laughs> is, is this uh endurance or what Delian passes, it's a con save. The body what? save. Oh, just so I just roll for defensive as oh. Ah, the defensive you have trained in body. I think Booker, you actually said you wanted to train in body, I think. Yeah, and what would that so, be? Fortitude? Do you yeah, slash okay. um, fortitude. That's correct. Okay, mm -hmm. so then I'll get a d6 then on top of that. All right. Mm -hmm. I tried to give him specific names so we could kind of give him more Wait, nomenclature. Wait, I have bardic inspiration. I can it, can I add a d10 to that? Yes, roll it up with advantage, right? Because you have the moat thingy. Is that how it works? Yeah, I got a moat creation that lets me uh, do a different effects for. I got a 10 on one of them. That's the pass so, now. So I. Barnin, have... as you kind of start to daze a little bit, Barnin comes up behind and like you know checks on you. How does Barden prevent Viro taking a stack of exhaustion? I Can see Viro is getting a little drowsy, and I play an energetic tune, and what I would feel would be a fiery origin mm -hmm. and Viro's preference. Jazz it up, baby. <laughs> and um, as you guys get another pass over the ship, Booker, you notice that you try to look for brandings. Now, some of the bodies are badly burned, and it's hard to tell just by a look of it. Um, some of the clothes are burned, you know. It's hard to tell. But what's more interesting is that the ship has been completely looted. Right? Like there's physical evidence that it's been looted. Yes. Okay. Things are turned over. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, for, like open forced, up. En forced entry into things. and Yeah. And I'm going to say you find giant claw marks that open up the lower decks. Ooh. So the dragon's looting? This dragon's looting. It He's makes... a looter. No, <laughs> it's not going to be friendly. <laughs> well, he's looting the bad guys. He's uh, not attacking... Uh, it's not attacking, sh like... Traveling vessels or fishermen ships, so it, it's it tracking knows... the big loot. It's taking the fucking horde. Going after the big guys. Okay. It's a fishing. I mean, the dragons hunter. take money. Yeah, dragons take hordes all the time, so that makes sense. So do we do we not actually have to do anything about this, or what? What do we? I don't I'll know. let you guys decide on that next week as we finish all our right. game. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and we proceed to swim back to go see what the ship's like. Yeah. Hopefully the ship's still there. 